got good at it. I went through the process of getting good at it. I liked and, like, playing it, but I was not good at it. <laughs> it gets fucking nuts. Anyway. All right, we're live now. Oh, we're live now. Great. Um, yep. I'm also the sort of person who... Put all your crack pipes away. It's time to get rolling. <laughs> <laughs> I should just be I should just be a VTuber with Buscoso's uh, uh, avatar here. <laughs> do a uh, oh my goodness, do a laughing man thing, but with a troll person <laughs> in front of it instead. Yeah. That's actually that I, I might actually do that. So what I thought I'd do is be one of those wise asses. <laughs> <laughs> uh all right. Well, welcome back to another episode of Collaborators Without Direction, a tabletop adventure game where the players explore the Southeast Asia-inspired lands of Yun Suin. My name is Gobin, my pronouns are he, him, and it is my task as referee to narrate the world around them as the characters seek adventure. I will pass it off to our first player, who from... Uh, we'll go with Billy. So, Billy, um, Hello. introduce yourself and um, reintroduce your character. Tell us your name, your pronouns, and remind everyone who your character is. Go. My name is Billy. I use he, him. And I am playing Winslow Steeple, the alchemist. <laughs> <laughs> That's this one. The man in the funny hat. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And we'll go to uh, Zach next. Hey, I'm Zach. I use he, him, um, and I'm playing uh, uh, Buscoso, the Duende. Uh, it is it horrifying is, now. It looks kind of <laughs> like that. That is, I wonder if my icons, I can't get into the actual Twitch thing because I'm on a different computer, but, <laughs> but hopefully it shows up. Um, yeah. but yes, and I am a, um, yeah, I'm a Dwinde, uh, wise ass is, I guess I would call my <laughs> class. The That's wise ass. Says. Yeah. Your vocation is wise ass. Nice. And my archetype slash class thing is the wise ass. <laughs> <laughs> so there are none other like you. Yeah. Yeah. Incomparable. <laughs> Well, now that that brings up so many questions. <laughs> what does? Uh, if you are the wise ass and no one can be comparably wise ass. To become the wise ass, you must first kill the wise ass. It's a dark curse, to be sure. It's like the Santa Claus. <laughs> yes. Correct. It's, you have to eat Santa Claus to be Santa Claus. Oh right, yeah. How that how that movie went. I remember when Tim Allen. Yeah, it was weird. Started. He dipped into cannibalism that quickly in his yeah, career. It, but it, like, it, you know, it kind of makes sense yeah, though. It, it honestly does. Looking back at it, um, it it yeah. really works I don't with, know if it with kind of well, his but it's certainly like it's all understandable. Yeah, anyway, and you moving know, moving on to Maggie. <laughs> uh, I'm Maggie. My pronouns are she and her. And I'm playing Tiferet, a human bicycle messenger. And my class in mechanical terms is the deft. All right. Awesome. So, uh, before we dive into tonight's episode, um, of Collaborators Without Direction, I would want to remind everyone that previous episodes are currently available on my Twitch profile and they're for, full of more sh uh, shenanigans and mishaps and drama, so check those out when you have a chance. Oh, cool. Uh, they're there? Yeah, yes. uh, they upload automatically. So, nice. completely unedited, and there's a whole bunch of silence at the front of the last one. Uh, I <laughs> suppose that content is lost to time. <laughs> Uh, anyways, so last previously on Collaborators Without Direction, uh, Thodo, who is played by Savraj, who is not currently here, uh, managed to save a strong but domestic man from being crushed during uh, recovery efforts. Then he brokered a 
true steel between, excuse me, a historian who is in town and a local, uh, a local boy who was attempting to steal some of her scrolls. Oh, right. <laughs> so, Tiferet, meanwhile, uh, was... <laughs> abducted by force by a group of cannibals when they held the Lukman, the remaining Lukman siblings uh, hostage. Um, <laughs> well, while investigating a pile of bodies, they were, who? the three of them were uh, captured by force. Who would have thunk? Who would have thunk it? <laughs> Meanwhile... Winslow in a different part in a nearby section of the town of Vindrandop was invited to dinner while investigating a character or a um yes he is a character in the classical sense of the term a character known as Talatem who was acting very strangely towards a, a young girl whose name Billy never got <laughs> Uh, Might not ever get stranger <laughs> danger. Stranger dangers. So Winslow, f feeling the stranger danger, went over to attempt to rescue or assist this person, this young girl, and ended up also getting invited to dinner. Lucky him. <laughs> uh, turns out that Bill, or I'm uh, sorry, Winslow and Tiferet were invited to the same dinner party, and that they were to be, or the hosts were going to have them for dinner, literally. Tiferet, having none of this, decide accidentally spilled the soup on one of the hosts, instantly melting her face off and killing her. <laughs> At the same time, Winslow crashed the dinner party, and eviscerated the other host <laughs> quite rude uh the uh the seller... you're never gonna get invited back at that rate certainly not no. both the hosts are dead. yeah however uh in the ensuing chaos some lanterns fell over and burned down the cellar which you know had a wooden roof so something would burn. <laughs> I was about to say, burn down the cellar. <laughs> yep, the underground cellar made of stone with a wooden roof. Cool. Burns a fire under. in a water park. <laughs> All dirt is made out of pitch here. It's true. Uh, that's you know, I that with checks... Flood because if I start with a flood, or if I start with a fire, the game's just over. Everything burns instantly. <laughs> Boom. Yeah. That was a different game. It just like never got off the never got mm. off the ground. Alternate reality where we tried that instead. Hmm? Yep, and it just uh, didn't work. Anyways, uh, during that. this time, let's take uh, uh, a few steps back into the mind of a buscoso. <laughs> All right, so. Um, we have all right, so Buscoso is standing somewhere. Let me <laughs> having moved my computer, a lot of these notes are in the wrong place, or I'm not used to looking at them from this angle, so I'm like, where did they go? I see a bunch of boxes and circles and such. Uh-huh. That is Billy. <laughs> <laughs> well, they... Do those sure exist. Okay, so... Who's go so? As you are making... Attempting to make your way through this... The chaos of this, um... Scene. You... Uh -huh. Here it is. All right. What was what was the last thing that you were doing? We helped save some kids from a river. Right. We talked. We talked about a different. We talked about some kids murdering a dude. Right. And that you, was about it. 
you helped uh, Kaleo with the raft. Um, you spoke with the <laughs> crazy woman. Yep. <laughs> who was speaking about unclean meat, and then you played a listen. trap card on the thief boy Tam Doon. Cool, he has a name. That's cool. He does have a name. He's been following. I don't think we got to that. Around. Oh, cool. That works. Huh. It's always nice to have Sarva show me something. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, is his characters following, or the NPC is following his character around? That counts. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> All right. Um. Ba -da -ba -ba -da. So. So. Yeah. I'm... There we go. There it is. All right. So as you are uh, regaining your orientation around here, you uh, have lost track of the other collaborators currently. You make your way in, down in towards the village and you find a desperate throng about to hang a Venara sailor, the, a monkey goblin sailor. Hmm. Uh, there are not too many people here. Uh, it's I was about like, to... It's not a mass of like uncountable hundreds of people all here to hang this one person. <laughs> I'm I'm assuming that I would know offhand. Yeah. Uh, a... If it if it was the only Vanara sailor <laughs> that I travel with currently. Oh right? uh, yeah, it is not him. Okay. Hell it of is... a coincidence. It's... <laughs> Not really. <laughs> it's not that anyway. coincidental. Ah. I mean, it is somewhat coincidental, but anyways, sidetrack. Yes. Um, so. Uh, I mean, monkeys are good for boats. Yeah, that's true. Uh, alrighty. So. Uh, so let's it see. it is uh, approximately a dozen people here who are... Um, They've got, they're screaming and shouting about, um, oh, we caught this thief! This is the food thief! He stole our food! And one of them's got a rope, and he's like, string him up! And he slept with my wife! <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Meanwhile, the, uh... The Venara himself is actively like trying to get away from the crowd and is like, I, 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 I'm innocent. No, oh no, like, I don't want to die today. And is like trying to get away, but they have him cornered and panicked and off his feet. So he is not uh, act. He does not seem to have a clear escape currently. How do you know he's a witch? <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, uh, so, silly, uh, silly. Too silly. <laughs> yes, uh, so, all right, um, so how many approximately are there? A dozen. Okay, yeah, a dozen. Hmm. Yes. Righto, and uh, is anyone else near me? Um... No. Presumably uh, someone of, should. None of the oh. other characters are nearby. Okay. This um, is a solo mission. Yes. When did I do this? Now? I guess you're doing it while we were getting, you know... They're getting well, lunch, we... and you're getting okay, lynch. Cool. Uh, mm. uh huh. Ha ha ha. Okay. Uh, powerful levels of pun. Um, so, let's, let's see. Um, well, shit, this is exactly the sort of situation that I'm bad at, so, uh. <laughs> um. So, you are, uh, just standing there, uh, watching, uh, this crowd 
Well, yeah, it's, it's, it's a crowd. This group, uh, they are grabbing onto this um, Venara at this time, and they say, uh, You stole our food! You stole the backpack of food from... Uh, somebody. <laughs> Give me your name. Lawrence. <laughs> Florence or Torrance? Get your... Florence. Get your Florence. own dang name. I'm busy trying to think of ways to get out of this situation. They stole her food and her machine. You stole uh you stole Salasa's food. <laughs> I... <laughs> and uh and the Bernard is like, I didn't steal no. anything. I don't even know who that is. Uh and it's like, search, search me, I have no food. And they're like You have, you have the food, food. you have, have the food, you stole the food. food. I'm, I'm, alright, I'm going to probably walk up, I am going to have my scimitar out, okay. just in case. I'm going to say, so, um, so who's the law around these parts? I don't think it's any of you, but who is it? Um, so you're just uh, walking up to the group with your scimitar out? <laughs> <laughs> You're right. I'm going don't, to stay. Don't walk up ready to throw hands and not be ready to throw hands. <laughs> That's all right. Fine. Let's see. I'm not. E if it went that way, I wouldn't even be like roll initiative. I'd be like, "You're up against twelve people who have maybe shiv sticks, but <laughs> that's still twelve people." Fun. <laughs> Fine. Uh, but let's they, they see. They don't seem uh, actively hostile towards you currently. All right. Well, the problem is that if I walk up there without a scimitar, uh, unsheath, they won't know that I mean any kind of business whatsoever. Well, sure. Uh, sounds like a charisma check then. Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, sorcerer, right? Is no. This, <laughs> is this at all related to your vocation or your... <laughs> only, only if I'm trying to be a wise... Uh, actually, I kind of am trying to be a wise ass. I literally just said, well... Yeah, that's fair. Are you I kind of just said, I kind of just, like, made aspersions to them not being fit to be... You're to, posing a moral and ethical dilemma. I think that's pretty wise ass. <laughs> Although, are you so? Do you have like wise ass as a group listed that is under his vocation? It's my vocation. I don't think you get your vocation uh, right. as oh, like right. every... nope. on charisma. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what's that? You have it on charisma. I do have yeah, it on okay. charisma. Perfect. Perfect. So roll oh, charisma oh, with oh, advantage oh, for wise ass. <laughs> Cool. <laughs> Alright, so two dice, right? What the... That's... Was that right? I don't think so. I think both of those were over your... <laughs> no, I'm just saying, did it roll right? Because yep. on this side, it looked a little... I don't know, there was a minor... I only saw a lift. 17. I only see a 17 pop up. You got a 17 and an 11. Yes. Where'd the yeah. other one show up if you click on the 17 it'll show you the oh it two. shows the other one uh, okay. now nah, the more you know one. all right all right let's see cool so 11 i guess is the so, wait yeah uh the, the crowd, crowd turns to you and says fuck, fuck off, off man, man. In, these in these situations, situations we're, the we're the law as much as anybody, anybody else right else now, now. Hmm. Um, give me a perception check. Sorry, yeah. A wisdom check. About um, to say. Alright. That's gonna take, like... I mean... Yeah, I guess perception is still a thing. Rip. Sick? Was that oh, six? That, that is a su success. It's, and I also... For it what it's a worth, 14 yeah. on the, uh, the 3D one, and I was like, RIP! <laughs> I know, the 3D ones are kind of fucking with me because they show as the high number when yeah. they roll, like... But actually a 14 also, would have succeeded anyway. Also, you'll notice that the take best result took the 17 instead of the 11. I mean, they're both failures. 
I get you, but it takes right, right, the right, higher. Right, right. No, no, no. But it you're does, trying to get it, it not, high without going over. It oh, does not okay. take a failure. If you split it and one is a success and one is a failure, the code uh, is good oh, enough oh. that it will it will give nice. you the success. That's cool. Anyway, so success... taking the higher one since the higher one would have been better if you're. Oh, success with quality six. So. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Target eighteen. Um, That's a pretty damn easy. All right, so what you see is a – underneath this crowd is this uh, backpack, like a satchel uh -huh. full of food, like rations, that has just been, like, okay. trampled under the ground or into the ground by all, all of right. these I'm go people. I'm going, to, I'm going to say, wow, you guys are kind of dumb, aren't you? <laughs> The, um, you're you're standing in the food right now, you know. They're like, what are you? What are you what, what, we're not we're standing, standing in food. food. We're here we're about to have justice for this, this creature stealing, stealing our food. food. What do you yeah, mean the, we're standing in it? And then like I one mean, of them looks down, looks down and is like, like, "Hey, hey this is my bag." <laughs> and. <laughs> The uh, the one with the ropes like so you still gonna hang him though right? I'm like if you proceed any further I'm gonna have to show you that I'm a powerful wizard I don't want to spill any blood on you on you stupid fucks but I will. All right, um, another charisma check with advantage there. <laughs> Pulling the I'm a wizard card. You're not lying. <laughs> They're I'm not, not really <laughs> as strong as you're putting on. Either, Either way, way, it's charisma because there's no like skills. Yeah, uh, absolutely yes. with advantage. Pull on a schmendrick. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> double twelve. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Double twelve. Double fail. They're both twelve. <laughs> yeah. How about I think... that? I think that's a special. Like, if you do doubles... Well, look up whatever What's-His-Face says is... Sorry, it's probably not called a double. It's probably <laughs> called something like... Like a... Double paired, plus minus a, bad. We'll call a it paired a fail. A paired fail or something. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's not a double fail. It's a paired fail. <laughs> All right. I did it first, before D&D. We'll that's right. I did it before anyone thought of it ever. <laughs> All right, so we'll uh, call this a super critical failure. <laughs> Does it say that anywhere? No, I just think it's wild that you rolled with six or with advantage and got a double or a failure that's <laughs> like the same number. Mhm. Mm Anyways, uh, you turn and you're like, <laughs> um. We're gonna, uh, we're, I'm a, I'm a big scary wizard man, and they're like, ah, oh, you and what fucking army, pal? And like, two of them turn around, and they've just got like knives, and they're gonna come at you with those knives. So, let's do, set up a quick encounter here. Nope, trash that. Yes, we're gonna add. Like permission to update combat, apparently. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I'm gonna switch over to the cobblestone map. <laughs> it's still set up from the previous one. All right. <laughs> Let's delete everything. Everyone. Everyone. <laughs> I'm having to use the Twitch stream to see things. Oh no, don't I did do that, that last week. Or last time. <laughs> oh, okay. So the problem with that is simply that you're seeing it from my perspective. Ah. What if I host the Twitch stream, then you can see it from my perspective. Then I couldn't control it. <laughs> well shit. Uh, Alright. Uh let's get Buscoso. And NPCs, citizens. <laughs> hey, it worked. 
two, three. Fuck yeah. All right, so... Is it supposed to be showing cobblestones yet? Yes. yes. Oh, no. Oh, no. Um, there we go. It should switch all over now. I was about to now. say, I don't see anything. Yeah, I switched yeah. mine, and I forgot to right-click and switch y'all as well. Else. Yeah. All right. So we'll I still don't this. see anything, but that's all right. No active encounter. Start an encounter. Begin combat. Nope. That's wrong. Combat. <laughs> Camera, 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 cambat. It's a wombat. N no. It's a wombat. Not correct. <laughs> Do you see it yet? Uh. No, it's just as loading UDT cobblestone seventy five percent. Okay. Yeah. So it looks to be stuck. Go ahead and give It'll me. It'll get there eventually. One hundred. And now it's fading. Good. I saw dice. You want to roll an initiative for me? There's some interesting Borg dice or yeah, elk I cars. Yeah, like they look cool. Those are some good like fucking Star Star Trek L cars dice. <laughs> so th they, they are have, though. They're really cool because they have lines that go all like over multiple sides, but it's only the yeah. pips, like the ends of the lines that are on oh, that's that side cool. that actually count towards the count? pits. Yeah, oh that's cool. That's super cool. I want some real ones like that. Right? Anyway. Uh alright, so slash roll space roll or no slash roll space um for initiative just click on the initiative oh just thing click on, on my thing sheet. right never mind it should work that uh, way yeah it should here's or it actually i don't see where you would click that There's so ST. what's st again saving, saving throw, throw. So that's not it no it's no, just 1d6 okay where the hell is so you could just roll 1d6 in fact i don't see initiative on my character sheet yeah oh right it's under dex right Okay, I'll just roll 1d6. All right, just a sec. Sorry. I mean, I can roll it for you, but nah, I was going to let you roll your own. I'm doing it myself. I can make it on my own. <laughs> All right, so it's slash roll and then space 1d6. Is that it? Uh, yeah. Or slash r 1d6. Two. Cool. Nope. Well, it caught on fire, whatever it was. <laughs> Second rule to max. Was that good or bad? That was bad for whoever whoever rolled that. No, I need to change your initiative to a fucking six. Plus zero. Or two. Why are you yeah. doing for you, jerk? Wait. Initiative value. Two. It, it said that you clearly could... There we go. So it says that I rolled for initiative there. Where's the button that you used to do that? Um, it's I have it under um, encounter here. Oh, alright. Yeah, I don't got that, so... Alright. All right. Just in the future, maybe, maybe you should actually roll initiative. <laughs> since okay. you have a button that does it. I All do right, not. So, uh, just to refresh your mind here, with the UDT, you have different zones. The interior zone is close by. Anyone who is close can attack anyone else who is close. Positioning within that is not, like... Cool. Within exact. what zone? So you see how there's the center circle? Nope, because it's all gray. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Does your little thing not have vision? Has vision? Don't know. Should be able to see. Just, Jeez, fuck. This is gray. Take your... Should I reload the page? I see gray as well. Yeah. Okay. What about now? Now I see even less stuff. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I I was able to see me and the tokens and you, your cursor moving around. Now those are gone too. It's just literally gray everything. There it is. There you go. Oh, it's loading. It says, ah, there we go. Got it. All right. It's showing I see up it now. Yeah. Yeah. So they're short, medium, long. Yep. Yeah. 
and uh, positioning within it is not like exact. So it's more relative positioning than exact yeah. positioning. So it's not quite gridless. It's not quite theater of the mind. It's somewhere in between. Um, yeah. If you want to move from one range to another, that takes one of your move actions. But How come these boyos start close to me? Because they're right up on top of you. Yeah. How come that? I wasn't talking right next to them. <laughs> I was yelling at them. But that's fine. Well, it don't matter. Now. You're close. It now. don't matter. Now. All right, sure. That's fine anyhow. So, um, on guard, Richelieu, you shall face my blade. <laughs> <laughs> right. So we'll start with Zhao Dinten, <laughs> who happens to be front and center. How about that? How about that? How about that? There we go. Budget. We'll give them a little... Uh, oh, they have names. That's fun. Yeah, yeah, like automatically random names there. Fun times. Selenini. <laughs> and Nit. <laughs> Nit. <laughs> All right. So, I don't know about um, those. Joe Denton here is going to... Uh, it was the one who said, Yeah, who are you going to stop us from from taking out justice this is this is our town and we're gonna see to it that people who are not from these parts know how to respect our laws our ways and our customs and our sense of justice and he's going to yeet a knife at you <laughs> all righty sounds good well it doesn't actually but it's fine. Yeah. Because clearly he's not very good at it, and it's he misses completely. You're just right like, no, nah, bro. Bro, nah. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, but so, at the same time, you know, it's not that he's, uh, he's done. He just feels like he's like... He's taking that in. The other two are moving uh, towards you with uh, taking advantage of that, um, you know, that break in your concert. Yeah, that opportunity. Yeah. So, so Nit is going to come in from the side and attempt to. Um, uh, he's going to attempt to come behind you and like cut off your retreat. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and roll a dexterity. Will do. And uh, if he beats you with dexterity, then he's going to get a better position around behind you, and you won't be able to retreat. Make sense? Yep. All right. Did you succeed? I have no idea. Yes. I think so. yes. Oh, you succeeded. He, however, did not. <laughs> <laughs> All, right, All right. So you are able to back up in you know, like circle around and keep space around them. Uh, however, Selenini is... Didn't I get two on initiative? Did they all get one? Mm, they all got four, four, and four. Oh, is high better on initiative? Yes. <laughs> you can't mix systems like that, god damn. Can't mix up and down, I understand. I don't like the initiative system, however, it was what was in this mod for uh, Foundry, yeah. so I have not been able to, yeah. like, correct it in yes. some way. I was like, cool, I got a two, sweet! Such as adding <laughs> my PIP <laughs> system. <laughs> yeah. Alright, All right. um... Yeah, yeah uh, don't talk about Pip system. I'm gonna get White Wolf flashbacks. Hey, it's all good in the hood. So Selenini is uh, gonna attempt to rush you and grapple you. Oh boy, now I'm getting 3.5 flashbacks. All right, um, <laughs> take a five foot step. Grapple. Oh no! <laughs> Please wait for 30 minutes while we figure out how grapple works again. <laughs> All right, so he's going to successfully grapple you unless you have uh, something you're going to roll to avoid that, uh, whether strength or um, dexterity. 
Neither of which is good for you. How about that? Yeah, yep, yep. Hmm. Let's see. I think your dex is one higher if you want to try to roll. I know. I'm seriously considering just using a miracle again. <laughs> We'll see. It does seem like the best way to get out of this anyway. Play your trap card, turn blood into sand. <laughs> I, it is admittedly a hell of a trap, but... Uh, <laughs> Miracle transmit transmute water into lungs. Yeah. Oh, that's swamp... Like Swamp Lung, my favorite 3.5 <laughs> <laughs> Billy's spell. favorite, too. <laughs> That wasn't Billy, I don't think. No, uh, sure Dylan. That was Dylan. Dylan got yeah. swamp lunged. Swamp lunged. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Billy got anyway. benign transpositioned. Yeah. I only had one benign transposition. <laughs> but we had it on contingency. <laughs> yes. Exactly. So it was like, well, All right, whoever uh, attacks me. Roll, anyway. Roll your decks. I. Roll my decks? Roll your decks without advantage. Okay, I was going to use a miracle. No, oh, no, no, no. This isn't on your turn. Oh, okay. Oh, it's his turn. Yeah, yeah. it's still it's still his uh, turn. He's, oh. he's uh, dive tackling you and has rolled cool. well. Decks, decks without advantage. Got it. Cool. Yep. Cool, cool, cool. Where the hell's my dice? Oh, you succeeded and you rolled better than him. <laughs> So you're going to break away from Selenini. Mm-hmm. God, you look fucking creeper. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna find out in a second. All right, now it's your turn. Drunken All master. right. So... Hmm... All right. So I'm actually... Is there such a thing as a readied action? Yeah, if you'd readied something. <laughs> no, I get that. I mean for the next <laughs> in general, upcoming, yeah, in upcoming general, round. Just, just say like, hey, I'm going to ready an action to do this. Oh, okay, cool. I'm totally fine with um, natural speak like that. Um, if you're like, hey, I've got this idea, I don't know if it's a fucking rule or not, just be like, alright, what are you trying to do? And then we'll figure something out. Yes, alright, so what's the terrain around here? Um, cobblestone-ish. You're in, like, uh, sort of, uh, it's not the downtown main, um... It's not the main gallows. Yeah, this is like yeah, this the off side is gallows. The side yeah. gallows, yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's not like the town square, but it is like a small little open-ish area where a couple of the roads are crossing each other. Alright. I'm so going like to ready a large intersection rather than downtown. Alright, I'm gonna ready an action to use a miracle. Okay, what this do you This is going to draw some blood, I feel. I really would have preferred that they hadn't done this if I rolled shit. Chiddly. So, hey, why is my health still down? Hasn't it been a full session? Mm. Anyway. Yeah, but you haven't had a time to rest. Oh, that's true. Fair enough. It's All been right, so. an hour since y'all got into town. Oh, right, yes. Okay, that's fair. Yes. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Not even enough time for a nap. <laughs> so, I'm going to use Creations of the Dwinde, or rather, oh, Masterwork. No. Masterwork. Uh, masterwork. Creations of the Druinde Masterwork Masterwork. <laughs> um, uh, and, uh, can you click as that so it appears in chat? Yeah, hold on. Let me uh, click it. How do I click it? Why is it not letting me click it? There we work? go. Cool. <laughs> Occasionally <laughs> prone to being subject to fun! fun. <laughs> so, uh, so whenever... So this so cobblestone is do? this cobblestone is a pale imitation of true dwarven craft. <laughs> Clearly, <laughs> yes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and uh oh shit what hold on a minute tornado 
did my uh no i i the windows the windows something unplugged noise just happened so i was like so i was like what is that <laughs> anyway but it wasn't anything important because mouse and audio still seem to work so uh, <laughs> it sounded like a freight train <laughs> Anyway, so, uh, jeez. That... Anyway, so, I uh, walking by that classroom years later, being, yeah. and they were watching that video, and I just like stuck, they had the door open. It's their own fault. So I stuck yeah. my head in and just go, it sounded like a freight like train. A freight train. <laughs> uh, good times. And you guys can't hear. And I walked on before I could have yeah. any further interactions. Yeah, you can hear me, right? Yeah, we can hear you fine. Yes. Good. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to use Creations of the Dwinde uh, to um, probably... What? The cobblestones. The, cobbles the cobblestones. And I'm going to... Which do you think would be more effort? Making a pit or making a wall? Um... They're both things that can be done given time. Uh, given time, this is really just a compression of time. Yeah, I think I think the wall is going to be uh, the easier, easier option. All right, I'm actually going to try and surround them with a wall. You're going to try to surround them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or you could. Well, if you want to surround them. Uh, that's that's going to be more wall, admittedly. Yes, it yeah. is going to be more wall than just building a, a wall in between you. Yeah, but just building a wall in between me buys me a few seconds at most. I mean, so maybe. You know. <laughs> well, well like or, we can talk about how wide you want it to be. If you wanted to go all the way across the uh, the road, that's fine. Uh, yeah. Let's let's go ahead and just make a really wide wall. Can I perhaps? Is there uh, a a proviso for me perhaps trying to intimidate them again now that I've literally made a fucking wall appear from the ground? <laughs> because I feel like this backs up my claim slightly. Hey, I'm a wizard. <laughs> <laughs> Is a fairly compelling argument, by and large. That's reasonable. Um... Check out his wall. So yes, I am going to... So I am going to make a uh, a wall there. All right, we can put a wall here. So it doesn't have to be super big or or super uh, big or anything, you know. Eight, All right, like, you still gotta cast it. So yeah, I know. So um, speaking of which, I'll go ahead and fill this in, assuming that you don't die. That it works. Yeah. If you so. die, I'll just delete it, and that's easy. Yeah, that's true. So all right. Um. Although, I did think that you said... So when you're casting a spell, do you know if you're uh -huh. going to use up enough blood? Like, use up more blood than you have beforehand? You know... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I, I thought you said that that was not a thing. <laughs> or like that, uh... Yeah, you yeah, know you what know it's gonna... You know what the amount is gonna be before you cast it. Okay, so... So it's not just gonna, like, sneak kill you. <laughs> I know, that's what I'm trying to figure out, is that, like, uh... can I have... I think uh, because you're just making a wall, it's not actually directly interfacing with anybody. Uh, you do have creations of the Dwinde, and although this isn't uh, Dwinde um, Cobble. cobblestones, you are creating something, and you are Dwinde. And it is rock. Yes. Yeah. Um, so you certainly get uh, plenty of interactions. I think it's just going to be two. All right, two will do it. So let me uh, so. Remind me how I cast things again. Um, you or do I just pay the blood and then do it? Yeah, you pay the blood and do it. Then that's what I'm doing. I have reduced um, my hit two points by is two. Is not more than three, so it's not doubled. Uh, actually, yeah. Yeah. And um, so I just reduced my health by two. I don't know mm -hmm. if it showed it anywhere, but I yep. did. We, from my angle, I can see everyone's good. health bars all good, the good, time. Good, good, good. Um, okay, so there's goes that round. So into... can I be on? Can I be on the wall? Um, sure. As a matter of fact, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah you, you can be yeah. on the wall. You can be up on the wall. 
All in all, How? you're just another yeah. dwarf in Dwindy the wall. on the wall. <laughs> So, uh, what, how, t how tall is Wall? <laughs> uh, about eight feet tall. That'll do. Yeah. yeah. It's not it's super not tall, super but it's like... No, that's good enough. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It's not some, it's not a ankle high wall that they will have difficulty jumping over. <laughs> All right. And now, and now I'm going to say, okay, so... Clearly that didn't work the reasonable way. So are you going to back off now or am I going to stand on this wall and shoot you until you die? Um okay, okay. roll another charisma check with advantage. With armor. <laughs> I swear to god, My I gosh. will kill. Yeah, I swear <laughs> to god, I will kill them if they don't listen to this one and everyone will have seen that they had it coming. <laughs> It was a What's murder, that? but not a crime. Jeez. Hey, you got it. <clears throat> Crit. Oh, damn. Oh. All, right. All right. Let's uh, so, roll some morale checks for these guys, then. Oh, wow. All right, I can just do fucking... Yeah, hold on a minute. What's their... What's these assholes save? Wow, it's raining sideways now. That's fun. <laughs> oh, boy. Really... I really hope that's just normal wins. <laughs> it would be very bad if you just suddenly, like, just, 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 just... Listen, if I go horizontally very rapidly, <laughs> uh, there's a chance tornado. But, uh, alternatively, if I suddenly, if suddenly the stream breaks with me screaming as the last thing you hear, is also applicable as, as a possible warning that I may have gotten got. We'll, uh, we'll call your phone and be like, eh, he's not picking up, I don't know what's going on. Based uh, on, based on the previous jokes, if you just he's, disappear he's, randomly, he's, we will he's assume not, you're dead. He's not, <laughs> he's not committed to this D&D &D campaign. Let's block his call. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking bullshit. <laughs> that would be amazing, though, if someone answered their phone while, like, in a tornado. <laughs> I know. Oh, no. As a matter of fact, I do want extended warranty on my car. No, it's more like, it's Actually, now's a great time for life insurance. Please go on. <laughs> <laughs> so you cover acts of God. <laughs> All right. So, um, yeah, uh, Nit and Jodin are kind of like, whoa. I'm not sure about that, but Selenini over here is like. Mm, you will not get away with this and he is going to uh oh actually uh we should roll initiative again for the next round here oh even a crit on convincing him with a wallless prop didn't convince this guy there's you, just no help from I people mean, you got two of them done so yeah no i know I'm not complaining, I'm just saying, I'm just kind of amused by the fact that this guy's gonna die and it's gonna be all his fault. <laughs> Selenini, like, ride or die. <laughs> Alright, All right. um... Okay, okay so... so Nit is, it's Nit's turn first, and he's gonna come over to Selenini, and he's gonna be like, Hey man, like, he's got a wall, like, Selenini's like pulling him back, like, no, 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 no. Like, dude, you're, you're getting in over your head. Like <laughs> that. Look at my face. Does this look like the face of Mercy? <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, if you hadn't already, like, caused these guys to crush, I would have let you roll another charisma save for that line alone. <laughs> this does not look like the face of mercy. Okay, uh, so, um, as Nit and Selenini are, like, or, like, Selenini's trying to pull past him and get up to you. Ah, I'll get ya! Um... You see as... Hell yeah. Uh, what nope. the heck? Hold on. That is the wrong character. 
Doo-doo. Yeah. Doo-doo. That's not not swallow lobes. There yeah, the go. other one. Yeah, not swallow lobes. <laughs> <laughs> you can judge by swallow lobes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um Who is Admiral Mahdi? Excellent. So good Star Wars EU uh <laughs> reference there <laughs> yeah I, I pulled the picture directly from him and, yeah uh so this uh the venara who was being about to be lynched by this group uh took advantage of you distracting the mob and was able to get free from uh the the ones who were holding on to him and while everyone else was like splitting away as you raised this wall up he jumps off of Zhao Denton's uh, shoulders and is going to grab you in an attempt to tackle you backwards off of the wall. Dang. So roll a d20. Oh, I can. I should be able to roll dex for him. Oh, I don't have dex for him. A d20? A, yes. A dex? A, yes. Like what dex. sort of? I was about to yeah, say. Dex. Dex, I dex, dex. thought so, but that's not good. Mm. <laughs> but neither was that. <laughs> you guys rolled the same. All right, All right so, so uh, uh, what's going to happen here is he's going to tumble backwards with you, but not. Uh, he doesn't so much grab you and, like... Uh, like pull you off of the wall as like just jump into you and you both fall off the back. Um, he's going to uh like quickly get up and be like, "Hey, you get off, run! Like we got to get out of here." And uh, do I take any damage from that? Um, nah. Just in the interest of fairness, that was an eight foot wall, and I am a a dwarf. I suppose <laughs> you can have a damage. I mean, I'm not asking <laughs> for it if you don't want to, but, you know, just saying for RP purposes. Uh, you fell on top of him. Okay. Cool. <laughs> All right. I'll say... Uh, I'll say, sure. All right. I could live with that. Let's go. Hey, Please don't you. tackle me. <laughs> I'm gonna get you. <laughs> It's just selling he like pops over the wall and is screaming at you, waving his fists as y'all dip. Next time I'll put you in a pit instead. <laughs> All right, so uh, stepping away from that, I'm gonna sh- I'm gonna show that boy what boat murdered means. <laughs> All right. turn slant sand to glass. What? And that turns sand to glass. Yes. <laughs> turn that's turn every elephant en- food. That's turn everything <laughs> to glass. <laughs> the elephants. All right. All right. Now, now we, we are, are back over at uh, Tiff and Winslow oh. and. Oh, shit. Yeah, so Tiff and Winslow have just exited the uh, the the black cellar. Now, in uh, this, uh, from the from black, the black cellar, cellar, you can see two scenes in front of you. You see a woman in the town in the the main square facing down some well armed mercenaries. And you also see on a temple roof a man in a stained nightgown staring upriver. Who, me? No, this is um, Billy ah. and Maggie. Cool, cool. Uh, I'm still I'm caught, I'm hacking up a lung because I was coming out of the fucking smoke den. <laughs> hey, 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 Gobin. Hey, Zach. Uh, not to duck out for a second, but I'm going to duck out for a second. Is now a good time for... Is my character going to be here for the next, like, two to four minutes? Um, no, not necessarily, but uh, depending on where they go, uh, I may want you to handle an NPC for me. Okay, never mind, I'll stay here. Okay, if you need to run to the bathroom, always feel free. 
No, no, no. I, I, that does take priority. <laughs> if you need to run to a tornado shelter, please take your computer with you. I will do my best. I will continue on. Dis- I'll continue on Discord on my phone. <laughs> All right, and um, we'll see how good the reception is on the Wi-Fi through that concrete and steel. <laughs> it's probably fine. It probably would be actually. All right. Good Wi-Fi these so days. So you see uh, Billy and Maggie from your position. You can see down into the main square where a woman is facing down some well-armed mercenaries, and you can see oh to to the side. On a temple roof, there is a man in a stained nightgown staring upriver. Ah, uh, Tiffert, the smoke has blinded me. You'll have to guide us from here. <laughs> <laughs> I can't hear you, Maggie. You yeah, muted. I can't hear either. You muted, Maggie? Huh? We can't hear you. Oh, still can't hear you. Continue to be unable to hear you. <laughs> okay, Jeffrey, it doesn't seem like All it was right, as bad as I once thought. <laughs> wait, wait. wait. All right, so let's. All right, so let's do the charades. Like two, muted in, two words. There we go. <laughs> it's <was> bad. <laughs> no. Nope. Can't hear anything. <laughs> One more. One time. word. Or one word. <laughs> we can't stop. Ah. <laughs> oh. It doesn't look like she was muted in Discord. No. I believe it was uh, OS issue. Who knows? She was muted in Discord for a while, but then... I was not muted. Oh, I'm sorry. There was a <laughs> I, I thought you were you. muted on purpose. Well, I started turning it on and off to see if that would work, and it did not. But when it did work... <laughs> Was just completely disconnecting because I well, but my laptop like entered low power mode, oh. which is why I ran out of the room. I was like, "Oh shit!" <gasps> Fuck. Uh, um, you know, like sense. Taryn's laptop, where it says why? low power, and you've got literally fifteen seconds to plug it in. <laughs> <laughs> Mine isn't that bad, but like running foundry and discord at the same time just demolished my battery my old yeah. laptop was 5 seconds <laughs> 5 seconds between low uh between low power and uh actually not just and legit would, explosion well no it would go <laughs> it would go from like oh 5% it would go like however much left oh warning low power and they would go from that to Suspending, and then would lose power halfway through suspending because it didn't have enough battery to suspend. <laughs> oh my god! And I'm yeah. like, I think I need a new battery. <laughs> All right. So which so, which way are you going to go? Uh, well, first I'm going to tell Winslow to fuck off and blow smoke in his face. <laughs> <laughs> like you're fine. Um, <laughs> I continue coughing and wheezing. <laughs> tobacco smoke in your face. <laughs> um, Pull out my inhaler. <laughs> <laughs> and when I um, lean, when I lean back, I'm kind of like Kwasi Muadiv. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna. Let's see. Mercenary. You're like fading in and out now. Yeah, fading in and out. Oh, I covered my mouth. That'll do it. <laughs> well, don't. <laughs> uh, I was thinking to myself, I was like, mercenaries or spooky man. Spooky man. <laughs> After the last dealing with mercenaries, I'm okay with spooky man. I was about to say, spooky man might haunt your ass, but also might not have however many worth of combat hours of combat training that mercenaries have so yeah, yeah. um so i'm gonna approach spooky man i'm gonna be reloading my pistol okay I, I i think i recovered my shit last session sure what is... i think so sure i'm gonna say hail and well met my dude um, <laughs> Thank you. yeah i'm just gonna be like reloading my pistol 
Gobin, oh, Catherine hey. says hi. Oh, hey. Hi, Catherine. Hey. <laughs> Long time no Look see. Look at my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> no no come back look at my eyes <laughs> yeah yeah like reloading and i'm gonna call out to him like what do you see tell me what do your eyes see yeah oh, i'm gonna order the children like close to me okay, okay. um None of this like several paces back bullshit. They're they're sticking with me. <laughs> All, right, All right, kids, hands on shirt now. <laughs> yeah. You we have the buddy system shit. now. Are we do wait, do we have a bunch of kids in tow too? What? Two, <laughs> two children. Oh, I thought we ditched them with someone. <laughs> Not these two. Two. Not these two. Okay. There have been several groups of kids. Yeah. It's almost there like have there also been several people. groups of old people. So much child death. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> All right. Um, you see a man in uh, white and yellow, uh, not robes, like nightgowns, um, standing in, just looking up, up the river, and you hear him. Uh, you hear him say, uh, um, The dam! The lock! The dam! It must be shut again! And down below, uh, at ground level where you all are standing, there is a woman wearing, um, also wearing white and yellow, uh, robes, but she's wearing, like, daytime clothes robes. And she's standing underneath, and she says, uh see her, see her please, please. Come, come down, down. come down, down. It's, it's it's dangerous, dangerous. It's so high up there but, but he is not paying attention to her can i touch him or is he like no no, no. Up, he out is of reach? up on top of the temple perhaps 20 some feet up he's like on the rooftop yeah he's just like standing on the uh so if you've got a roof here he is standing at the very front of it of the top of the roof. It seems like he's in the best position, really. Yeah. All right. I, I'm. I think I'll you, climb up to meet him. Winslow, you watch the kids. <laughs> <laughs> Come you here, die, children. I'll shoot you. I have candy for you. <laughs> You're like the incarnation of like the freaking uh, what's it called? The child catcher in that one. <laughs> Pacifier, Krampus. No, uh, no. <laughs> like you know the guy who has uh who has like the child catching cage and everything. Krampus. The pipe oh. piper. <laughs> sure. I was thinking of it. I was thinking of it being more of a like wolf and cub, like wolf and cub situation that I found myself in. Uh, like here is this weird murder person. And now yeah. they're responsible for children. That's true. <laughs> um, Winslow knows right. how to throw down. They say, we can hold a torch. <laughs> yeah. Good. Here, um, take this torch. Yeah, I'm gonna... They drop it immediately. Ugh, fuck. <laughs> so I'm gonna climb up to the roof from, I like, scale the wall back. of the temple. All right, uh, give me a to, like, dex. scramble up. Give me dex. Dex. Death Death Rip. Oh, do I just like not just just slippery? Um, did you have advantage for any reason? I can't. I mean, bicycle, bicycle messenger. messengers don't really scale walls. Yeah, <laughs> and you don't have anything else on decks. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, walls are pretty antithetical to bike messaging. Yeah. All right, um... We will say that you are uh, climbing up the side, but then uh, you're having trouble getting onto the roof. And as you're scrambling to get up onto the roof, you slide and are hanging off of the edge now. Uh, okay. If you you can attempt to climb up again, uh, if you fall from here though, you will uh, take some some damage as you fall to the ground. Okay. 
Um, Can I put a child underneath to catch some uh, catch the fall? Oh, cool. <laughs> I didn't have to these children, catch here, these children, stand here, catch Tiferet. <laughs> she heard a fall. <laughs> they, they're standing there, like we got you. Game hasn't been better. Walk. No. All right. Uh... <laughs> trying to think. The... Bicycle messengers not known for their good decks, the, but uh, are the known seer for takes a half a step forward. Just he doesn't even seem to be aware that he is on the roof. He is so like you can tell from your closer perspective that he is just completely focused up river. He's like, um, what's what's the word? Fascinated. He's okay. just I'm completely making... fascinated by what is going on upriver without even seeming to comprehend the danger that he is in here. He, he better not get three fascination. Exactly. He Who knows how many he has right now? Because he repeats again, he says, The dam! The lock! It must be shut! Well, um... Can I make an argument that... Uh, well, bicycle messengers maybe not good for at scaling walls. Uh, still physically very fit p people to get advantage on a strength save or a strength check to just like idle to just like pull myself up onto the roof. Ah, but see, you only have good leg muscles as a bike messenger. <laughs> <laughs> that is not how bicycles work, but. It's... <laughs> Yeah, Billy, you would have known that if you'd talked to that guy on the recumbent bike last night. Ah, shit, I should have. <laughs> you absolutely should have. We're too busy talking oh, okay. to Car Man. On Anyways. A recumbent bike, it literally is all leg strength, but like. All right. Um, so you want to roll a strength versus dex? A little strength with advantage versus yeah. dex without. Yeah. You're going to say yes? I mean, sure. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, shit! Oh. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, you land that one. Uh, you... Yeah, you're up on the roof now, and... Uh, as a matter of fact, you uh, scramble all the way to the ridge line where the seer is standing. Um, all right, I'm gonna just try to like the, wo just... the woman down below says, "Please be careful. Help him if you can." All right, and this roof is it like heavily sloped or is it like? It's fairly steep. Okay. Like most religious buildings are. <laughs> okay. Many buttresses, and are they flying? No, it's like a 30, maybe, it's less <laughs> than 40 feet tall. So it is not flying buttresses anywhere. This There's is no not a small not, village. Not gothic. What's even the point? <laughs> they can all burn in this village for all I think. <laughs> 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 well, apparently, according to uh, history around circa, what is it, 2016, even if they are gothic, they can burn to the ground. Oh, shit. <laughs> too soon. Shots fired. Coming for you, France. Five years ago, Apologies to anyone from France in the stream. Vive la Bastille. Wow. <laughs> it was just, you know, like Macron's reign of terror. Hold on, let let me get my uh I think I have a highlighter vest somewhere. <laughs> we can well, really appeal to the French viewers. Me and Gobin did just watch the Hunchback of Notre Dame last night, so it's fresh and <laughs> it's Hell fresh in our fire! <laughs> We'll, we'll get into that. We'll get into that. Yeah, it was, after yeah, it was awesome, but we'll get back into it later. Yeah. Um, okay. So I'm gonna just try to like grab this guy and like pull him away from the edge and be like, "Sir, you're going to fall off of a roof." All right. Is that a message that you're delivering to this man? 
<laughs> oh, shit. Sure. The message is, sir, you're going to fall off of this roof. <laughs> <laughs> Do bike very passengers licensed. often tackle people is what I'm... Bike passengers uh, have a history of substance abuse, so like just about any sort of violent crime is also common amongst them. Uh, especially when I was in character, look at that. <laughs> back when I was back when I lived in D.C. as a kid, a bike messenger nearly uh, took off my fucking head, going full <laughs> speed. I, a seven-year-old, and then he yelled back at me. Get out of the fucking road, dude! <laughs> I was, by the way, on the sidewalk <laughs> that set with a sign that said "No bicycle, not no cycling uh, allowed in this area." Yeah, like there was a bike path. Bike so, um, are road. so this, <laughs> so this checks out at least personally, personal experience wise. Okay. Yeah, bike messengers are very fond of stimulants. All of them. Uh, I mean, look at your character's, I'll... like, black-ass eyes. Is that... How much of that is eyeshadow? Like, cosmetic eyeshadow? How much of that is just the substance abuse? The eyeshadow is <laughs> you, so you can't <laughs> tell the amount of substance abuse. <laughs> yeah, you, it's the same color. You just, like, blend it together, and you're like, nah, it's makeup, probably. <laughs> Fine. Look, I'm at work right now. Yeah, I woke up. I showed up. <laughs> Is that an answer? A problem answer you're getting? Yeah, I don't have a problem. You have a problem. Get out of the <laughs> fucking road. road. All if right, you want to so... keep talk, anyway. All right. So roll uh, strength. Strength. Steer Straight up. Strength. Oof. Woo! That was close. Wait. But with advantage because oh because <laughs> bike messenger yeah hey! Crit! Hey! <laughs> critical message all right. all right so you grab this guy message fucking delivered <laughs> another satisfied customer <laughs> all, right, all right so you grab this guy you twist him around you say uh Sir, step, step away, away from the edge. Here, I'm here, here to help you. You spin him around, and then he slides down the side right to where the kids were waiting to catch you in case you fell. Hell yeah. And How do the kids they catch do? Him, they fall in a heap, but nobody's really injured. And the, uh, the woman who was there, she rushes over, and, uh, like, the... The man, the man is, is just dazed. He is like, uh, like, like, was, was in a trance already, already, and then like got, got spun, spun around, around and thrown off of the roof. roof. So, so now he's, he's just like, like, like trying to collect himself, figure, uh, regain, uh, reorient himself. So, so <sighs> the woman the runs over and she's like. I see her, Lucy. How could you do that? Like you, you were you were about to fall. Like we need you here. We need you. Um, and he's like, oh, I'm I'm so sorry. Uh, what the? This is what? Where am I? We need to. Let's let's go inside. Uh, thank thank you. And he turns and looks at um, he turns and looks at Winslow when he says thank you. <laughs> You're welcome, friend. Alright, I'm gonna... I, I assume getting off the roof... Does getting off the roof require a check? Yeah, sure. Just, Just don't, don't roll, roll a 20. Jump into okay. the children. Jump right at the children. Alright, All right. yeah. It's a trust exercise. Yeah, you You've come down the down same, same way, way, and the kids catch you, and nobody really hurts themselves. Okay. Um, the, the Seer Rusi uh, stands up and says, Oh, I should introduce myself. My name is Seer Rusi. Thank you for saving me. Uh, please uh, come inside. Let me let me give you something um, in, in return. But damn? Damn? Like... The dam? Is the, it, it, you were saying something about the dam. 
Yes. Uh, Goes entirely back into few, climbs back up. <laughs> Damn! Damn! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's his trigger, I guess. <laughs> we know that for the future. Well, we learned that tonight. <laughs> yeah. He says, yes, yeah, so uh, let's, a... let's speak inside, speak inside. Just, like, activate his, like, Manchurian candidate programming. <laughs> so he, he and the uh, the woman are walking inside of this temple. I, uh, I look to Tiff and I hold my, uh, my uh, handle of my scimitar and I, like, look at her pistol and kind of give a little nod. Uh, yeah. do I recognize, like... So this temple, like, is it part of any group I would I would be able to recognize? Can I check for that? Um, yeah, sure. That would be wisdom. Yeah, it'd be wisdom. Intelligence. It'd be wisdom. And uh, for messenger, uh, you can go ahead and roll that with advantage. Okay. I'm fairly sure. certain you've heard of these people before. Okay, they're like, up. They're like a. They're like a big group. They're not. They're a common okay. enough group. Um, you recognize several of the symbols of the Watchmen. Um, the yellow and white robes are, uh, you know, symbols of the light of truth. You see uh, symbols of an yellow all-seeing eye. Face. <laughs> <laughs> so they're like, and the Watchmen are like relatively chill. Um, no, no, they are sort of cannibals. Them as, no, no. <laughs> are they cannibals? Are they more cannibals? You've never heard any tale or rumor of anyone from uh, the Watchmen eating people. <laughs> okay, that that's that's enough for me at this point. And none um, of the cannibals um, had these white and yellow robes. Okay. Okay. So I'm just yep. gonna keep. I'm just gonna keep the kids close to me and like go in, like no arms out, because like. So if these ones are cannibals. They're fine, young cannibals. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they're respectable. I'll follow the seat, uh, and and not draw my weapon. Okay. Um, let me find the notes of these doofuses. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, uh, please, come inside. Sit a while, listen. Sit <laughs> a while and listen. We're the Herodric scholar. I mean... <laughs> that red light marks a place of grave danger. Do not stop! <laughs> Oh, I have these items to identify. Could you please take a look? <laughs> As a matter of fact... Alright, so, uh, the seer, uh, if, if, when you come inside, uh, inside the temple is vibrantly painted, uh, primarily in hues of yellow. The images are vague and worn, but show uh, yellow kings focusing light and a prophetic figure leading slaves to freedom. Uh, the uh, the seer is um, sitting down in, at the front of this uh, temple. There's a uh, dais with a what do you an, an altar um, to that also has this uh, crystal uh, prism that uh, you can see from the. Um, there's a window up above that focuses the light down into this prism and then spreads it out uh, through the uh, across the altar that they have placed there. And on the altar are several scraps of paper uh, with writing on them, various small prayers and um, offerings to uh, the the watchman. So uh, he says. 
Um, uh, meanwhile, the uh, the woman who was w with you all earlier has uh, rushed into a back room, and you can hear her uh, rummaging around. He says, oh, uh, I th uh, thank you again so much, friends. Uh, I, um, as I mentioned, my name is uh, Seer Rusi, and uh, thank you for uh, helping me out there. Uh, it is a terrible thing what has happened. Something has happened to the dam. The dam has been here for, well, for so long that even uh, even us followers of the Watchmen do not have a strict amount of time uh, written down to how long it has been there. Uh, however, um, we know that what is upriver of the dam must not reach the light. What is up? Clarify that for me. Uh, okay, so he uh, walks over to the um, he walks over to the the paintings, the murals on the wall. He says, "You may have heard of the the tantra of the Watchmen in other cities. We are reasonably widespread throughout Yun Suin. However." Here in the Vendron Dop area, we have a we have adopted several of the local truths and histories into our uh, understandings. Understandings, as you may understand, are <laughs> dependent on where you stand. Something that may be true in one location may not be true in another, but that does not make it any less true. As a... Such as when you stand under where you're standing. <laughs> Thus, uh, not understanding the understand. Known unknowns. <laughs> and unknown unknowns. <laughs> <laughs> what we got here is an unknown unknown. So, <laughs> uh, whoop. I didn't copy over all those notes. <laughs> In the past, um... You may know from uh, previous interactions with the uh, followers of the Watchmen that we have uh, the gospel or the, the Tantra of the Watchmen talks about how l light and vision reveal the truth and that you cannot uh, you cannot tr understand the truth without being able to see everything from all perspectives. This is not just a literal uh, visual sight, but as so much it is a metaphor, metaphysical sight. Um, a blind person may follow the Watchmen unhindered. A... And even um, the eye itself is, in fact, the proof of the divine designs of the Watchman. If we were not given eyes, we would not be able to see the truth around us. Yes, that's, that's all very good. What's upriver of the dam? <laughs> to spread some light on this... Uh, uh, current crisis that we find ourselves in, there is a history. It is, some would call it a legend, but we have evidence uh, that it is m more than mere hearsay. At this point, uh, the woman comes back in and she is uh, has a, a tray of tea and um, yeah, just uh, some some tea that she has offered to everybody. Uh, Ooh, some nice oolong. Sure. The the seer uh, says um, uh, thank you, and uh, she pours him a glass of this nice, vibrant yellow tea, and he gestures. Uh, if you would like some tea, uh, please, uh, f you know, fill fill your cups. And uh, the two children are looking to you, uh, Tiferet. Well, I'm going to, like, pour a cup for myself, sniff it, and sip it. 
Pour one and out for we'll... your homies. Right, could I could I do a could I do a sniff test as an alchemist and uh Oh yeah. You know, see if it's uh Mostly I just want to know poison. if I can give this to the children. Sure. See if, I'll be able to, I can discern poisons All right, from both smell. Uh, Iocane powder. I bet my life on it. <laughs> both of you roll wisdom. Oh yeah. All right. Yeah. So, uh, Winslow, what you smell is, in fact, a pretty middling oolong. It's not bad, but it's you know, it's all right. Like. You feel like this is going to be uh, fairly tasty, uh, and uh, Tiff, what you smell is that this is probably going to be pretty invigorating, and but also fine for these kids. Okay, I'll pour them both out. I'll pour them both cups. They've had a long day. Most of their families died. They got kidnapped. Someone got shot in front of them. Someone got melted in front of them. Shit happens. It's a, a man rough fell day. on them. It yeah. is a rough... Uh, and you fell on them. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna, I'll pour mine, and then I'll uh, take a little flask out of my coat and say, like, I like to add a little bit of my own. <laughs> I pour a little bit into my cup. <laughs> they just stare at you like... Hey, I'll, I'll, I'll share? Share? Yes. Yes? No, thank you. I find that... Alright, alright, to each his own! I find that snake oil inhibits the mind. I find it quite the opposite. <laughs> in that case! <laughs> no, um... So, um... Yeah, so he, he says... A long long time ago before the dam here oh god i pour i pour more in <laughs> before the dam here was uh before the dam here was even built the people who made the dam had a great kingdom that may mayhaps even an empire that spread from the lands above above the the dam here at one time they were however they became increasingly corrupt with their power and they were seduced and betrayed by uh their own kind the those who uh, the ones who were more in the shadows than in the light a, and you can, as he is uh, explaining this to you, you can see it on this mural behind him. And he's, he's like following around. You get the sense that he has given this history speech more than once. Mm -hmm. he's, uh, he continues on saying, There was a primal war in which darkness threatened all of reality. A holy army was called to defend them. Even though they served the Watchman, most of them died beneath the earth where his gaze does not extend. Therefore, a prison of light and a cage of water was constructed to hold the darkness at bay. Eventually, the Empire fell. But some escaped into the wilderness and survived to pass on their secrets. However, the dam was always to be protected. The dam itself protected something unfathomably terrible, and it must not be released. Uh, about that. Ifrit's gonna, like, finish her tea on the third gulp. <laughs> and then just, like, begin, like, smoking, and be like, how do you figure that? Um, we need, someone must go above the dam and find the lock, and whatever it is, they must ensure that it remains sealed. I'm, I'm pretty sure, like, whatever it was that needed to remain sealed was, uh, all of this water that just killed everyone. No, no, you do not understand. The water, yes, it was, it was, it was, it was, it was he's... 
lost for words here. And but he, after a while, he catches himself and says, "It does. This water was nothing. This was just a, a pale. The wind before a storm. The storm itself is what is what is upriver. We must we must get upriver." Wow. Um, you can, uh, you can see, however, that, like, this man is pretty old and is in no shape, uh, for, like, a long trek upriver. Can I see what this, um, the object above the altar is made of? Uh, yeah, it's a... Human skin. (laughs) (laughs) No, no, it's like a crystal lens. Hmm. It is not, uh, does not appear to be any kind of, if, like. It's not holding anything, or? No, no, no. It seems that it itself is the, or is the, well, it is the light that's coming through it that is the object of worship here. And that mm-hmm. is just, like, the, or the, uh, the lens, the prism is the. The, the light, the, the light is the the light is the relic. The the prism is the reliquary. Yes. Mm. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Wow. <laughs> so an empire built that dam. You're telling. Yes, absolutely. They were a very rich empire. Kind of... One of the most rich from history that we have evidence of existing. And 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 do people frequent there? Or is it relatively, relatively left alone? It, relatively, is it left alone? It, the empire or the dam? The dam? No, the dam uh, has passed mostly from interest of anyone from the area, and certainly from the Yellow City uh, had. W- We've seen one or two people in the time in my entire lifetime who have come up here to uh, search or who had any manner of scholarly, knowledgeable, or even uh, more mundane interest in the dam. However, most of them left without uh, really finding anything of worth. Wow. It is a large... It is a large uh, structure, massive, truly massive, yeah. and is made uh, from techniques which we are not entirely sure how it was uh, constructed. But well, that alone could be worth something. But, Absolutely. But it's not very well surveyed either. No. Vendor no. Drop is a poor settlement, existing mostly off of the sale of local spices and um, uh, chives, cocoa, and the production volume isn't nearly large enough to even really warrant trading much beyond our local neighbors, much less all the way down to the Yellow City. You're telling me that this dam was holding some sort of unspeakable evil underneath the water. Yes. Is that where you're... Okay. And do you know about, like, like the cannibal? What? There are, like, cannibals in this town, dude. That is disgusting. (laughs) Yeah, they tried to eat me. There's a few less of them now. Well, yeah, many, many... He immediately, like, makes, like, a sign, like, crossing himself but not a cross. And um, it's just like, oh my goodness. It is like clearly taken aback and has lost some power. Like, it seems like unspeakable evil's already here. So like, I don't, I don't know what you're expecting me to do about that problem. <laughs> but. So, so like, you, you people are protecting this light. <laughs> what do you mean, you people? You folk what do you in this mean, you people. <laughs> let's just yeah. call it let's just call it a church so that we avoid the cult word, I mean C word. We prefer temple. Um you guys are protecting this 
reliquary from this darkness, and the only thing blocking this darkness is a dam that you do not know how to repair. Perhaps you underestimate the true scale of this, uh, this structure, and the idea of how to repair it. If you... When you see it, you will understand more about how such uh, an endeavor, or how such a situation would come to be. It, it would not be so uh, unbelievable at that time. It sounds so, like city planning at its worst, really. I mean, I'm just going to be honest with you. Does this look like a well-planned out city? Does this look like a city? Not currently! <laughs> Planning doesn't but that's because the, ban the dam burst. <laughs> Half of so, two thirds of this city have just been washed away in an instant. I have a question of like description of the characters. Sure. So this woman that helps this man, mm -hmm. this older man, is she like a young woman? No, 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 no. She is also. Uh, when I say older, um, I'm not saying that this man is like a hundred and seven. <laughs> Um, he's, he's more in his, like, late 60s, you would guess, and she okay. seems to be just maybe a little younger than him, maybe, like, her early 60s, but certainly not, Is like... she, like... Is she, like, relatively able-bodied? Yeah, both of them are, like, relatively able-bodied, like, they can walk downtown and get their groceries and stuff like that, but they don't look like they're up for a hike upriver, is what I'm saying. Well, I would say the two about, of them. I would say that they have about the obvious physical capabilities um, of like uh, Indiana Jones. Uh, his dad. What's his dad's name? Well, Doctor Jones Senior. <laughs> yeah, Sean Connery. Yeah, Sean Connery's his, character. His, his dad's Sean Connery. <laughs> Sean Connery. Yeah, Sean Connery. <laughs> well, you know. Just Sean. Junior, yes, yeah. a significantly more charismatic version of the real Sean Cox. <laughs> <laughs> but they, they have that about that much sort of like physical capabilities going on. Like he wasn't jumping okay. off of he wasn't the one jumping off of tanks. If yeah, if we're going to do if we're going to investigate this dam, we're going to need someone from your order that knows. More than we do about what is going on. Um, I understand if you don't want to come, but we need someone who is versed. Yes, that is that is fair. Uh, I uh, I understand where you're coming from. <laughs> this is gonna we need be this someone too. Like fucking <laughs> catchphrase. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm 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 gonna lean into it at this point. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, he says, um, he, he turns and looks at the woman, and he says, uh, Seer Kamis, do you think that, um, oh, what was that scholar's name? Do you think she would be willing to go with him? Uh, oh, I do believe so. She uh, seemed, she seemed like she would be the, of the helpful sort. They say, oh, yes, uh, you, perhaps you should talk to a local scholar. Her name is uh, Zani, sorry, sorry uh, Talila, Talila Binti Salasa. She's a scholar and uh, is well versed in uh, the history. Uh, she has spent much time here learning from us of more the historical aspects rather than the. the uh, religious. However, for us, we see little, uh, there's no means for hiding these histories from someone who is seeking the truth. That is, in fact, quite in line with our teachings, the, uh, the Tantra here. So, uh, like... you may also oh. wish to speak with, uh, a local, Another local um, who was here from before uh, we set, we moved in and set up here. His name is on here somewhere. Oh, right. Watcher Tem. 
Mm. Oh, Not yeah. terrible, Tim. Hoy. Oh, no, no, Turbo's <laughs> cousin. Uh, first name, uh, so minimum. Uh, Did we encounter Watcher Tim? Did oh, we rescue him? him already. Wonderful. Yeah, he would. He Pretty would... sure we rescued Turbo Tim. Uh, it, well, they're cousins. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we we met Watcher Tim. I'm I'm like looking through my notes. Yeah, his uh, Watcher Tim is a a, a younger uh, Watcher here with our <laughs> with our order. However, he's uh, doing quite well. He's He's okay. He would be uh, able to help you out with any of the. <laughs> that's that's what you love to hear from a new potential guide. Is he's he's okay? <laughs> I mean to say that he would he would probably be okay at assisting you in, you know, a a a trek up the river. That's uh, it is a good distance away from here, but. I, I believe he would be able to help you out with that far more than either uh, of us seers would be able to. Mm -hmm. And we would... Oof. Oof a doof. I guess that's because I... I just noticed that the stream is having some lag, but I guess that's because it's Wi-Fi. <laughs> Could be. Could be. Anyways, continuing as normal... Uh, yes. Um, so you may wish to speak with the, uh, we can arrange for the, um, for the historian, the scholar to meet you here, as well as the, uh, the watcher, if uh, you would like to rest here. We do not have rooms per se, but we can, uh, set you up with sleeping arrangements here in the temple for the time being. That's okay. I have a. Um, I could just take. I'll just take a pew. Uh, that'll be quite all right. I'll go set my sleeping bag on a pew. Sure. There's like benches and pews. Uh, I'll start. Uh, I just want to start reading. I'll. I'll. I'll kind of use my sleeping bag as a pillow and start reading my book. Okay. Uh, is there anything else uh, that you wish to do, Tiferet? Um, I'm gonna ask them to watch the kids while I. You know. Hey, watch these brats. Mom, I'm gonna step outside and take a smoke. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm currently smoking in the building. Like, Tiffer has abandoned all fucks. <laughs> I, I don't honestly seem too bothered. There is Different a smoking. He's always getting drunk. It's just, uh, it's just, <laughs> we brought debauchery up into this church. There is <laughs> plenty um, you, you mentioned something along if these I, lines, like, and the, uh... The watch, I know something about the Watchmen, and it's not like there's a the, lack of it. We got these random kids we just found. The, the woman, Seer Kamis, uh, she says to you, Sunlight is the best disinfectant, Mr. Winslow. <laughs> but darkness... Hides impurity. <laughs> Our guard was born Indeed. in the dark. <laughs> um. <laughs> she just yeah. like, smiles at you in that way of being like, yes, we are on the same page. Good. <laughs> and she just says, exactly. Thank you. <laughs> But I'm going to go. Like, gestures, <laughs> she just gestures around at like all the light that is in this building. <laughs> all right. So they're there. Okay. We like navigated our way to a terminus of the flood. <laughs> I'm taking a nap. Two more scenes. That's all we need. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Uskoso and his new friend, uh, you are standing 
uh, uh, you know, you get you get up and you've uh, run around from this. Oh, oh no! Uh, you you uh, escape oh, no. from this um group, this crowd, and you are able to uh is you know get away from your pursuers. They. Um, eventually, like, they, they give up chase. However, at this point, you have a good view of where the river was, uh, what was, used to be the docks here by, or the harbor. Um, in the middle of this harbor is a large ship, which you would assume was ocean-worthy. And you're not at first sure why it is so far inland, but it also seems it, it's here now. <laughs> On this ship, where are... On this ship are a myriad of sailors or people scrambling around all wearing um blue clothing very similar to your um to your companion's blue uh tunic that he is wearing and in several boats coming out to this ship like smaller fishing craft are several of the local citizens and they seem to be, um, they, they have, like, pickaxes and, uh, what do you call them? A fucking rake? Not a rake. Pitchfork. Jeez, I was like, fork? Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> They've got pitchforks and axes and are, uh, paddling their boat out to the, out uh, towards this ship. It is, uh, it seems that there's like some tension going on between these two groups because the sailors on the ship, you can see from your perspective easily, are preparing to, they're lined up on one side of this ship with, they also have like spears and uh, several of them have uh, rifles and bows drawn, but no combat has broken out yet. And your uh, where, who are companion. they aiming at? Uh, the, uh, the citizens. citizens. They seem to be squaring off ah. against the citizens in the fishing vessel in the fishing boats, and they are in a large seagoing vessel. Um, All right. The uh, your, uh, your uh, companion uh, here. Uh, he says, "Oh no, that's my that's my boat." Like. Uh, we're we're gonna be outnumbered here. We are, we we must go help. And he takes off down towards the boatway. I will reluctantly follow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm just... Yeah. So, so he... he jumps in a small canoe and. Uh, tosses you a a paddle as well. Uh, he is starting to um, row from the front of this canoe. Are you? He, he shouts back at you. Uh, hey, start rowing. We've got to go. We've got no time to waste. Why are we doing this? <laughs> I'm going to start rowing, but. He he's say this is my crew. Like I just need help getting out there. Then you can leave. I need to get back to my ship. I was yes, I was... but you see, I can't. But once I'm there, out there, and have helped you get back onto the ship, I will be out there, surrounded by a bunch of angry, uh, an angry mob that I helped you escape. This doesn't seem like a win-win situation for me. <laughs> He says, "I can, I can assure that you'll be safe on the ship. Our, our captain is second to none. There's, there's nothing that she couldn't do. Like she, a few, 
a few um a, a, a few angry citizens are nothing to, to her she's like she, she, we've faced then why do she need yeah then why does she need our help it's my crew <laughs> you okay know. fine how do you not know? Uh, you, you landlubber, you would not understand the tightness of the crew. You, It is sacred. If what's about to happen is what I think is about to happen, this angry mob's pretty fucked. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be like, alright. I'm going to, uh, yeah, I'm, I will help row towards it. Okay, so he is, uh, you're rowing the canoe out, and go ahead and give me a dex, a dex roll. Alrighty, one minute. <laughs> no, but what? What was the? Oh, you I think I fit. What I the see. hell? <laughs> no, he rolled a natural 20. <laughs> but he had... Cool. But it's fine because it's just a normal failure because he's got advantage. All right. Um, so your, your boat Sorry. seems to be uh, going, like streaming down river and unfortunately you're getting closer to the fisher the fishing vessels than you are to getting around them safely mm. um. i'm going to say say friend aren't you a sailor are you supposed to like steer around the bad things He's a, my I'm excuse a sailor, is i'm a land not a, a paddler this is a tiny little boat Barely my excuse is that mini. i'm a land lover look at these raging it's... waters and even though it goes on the water, your down, argument's invalid. <laughs> <laughs> and even though the waters are calmed down, they are still, like, pretty... You would, at this point, say that they are extremely high after rain. Like, it's still I'm going waters. to say... I'm going to say... Know this, sailor. If I die because of your sacred fucking bond, I'm going to haunt your crew forever. <laughs> He looks visibly <laughs> shaken by that. <laughs> but you liked my cooking. You fancied my lobster. <laughs> you fancied my lobster, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Such a good... <gasps> <laughs> yeah, like pretty much. To me. Yeah. All right, um... So what are you what are what are you going to do now? Uh, you're still drifting. I mean, there ain't you're a whole to, lot like, drift I can right into these other small fishing vessels. There ain't a whole lot I can do other than keep rowing or try and use another miracle. And I'm running pretty low on that red juice. That what makes it go? <laughs> uh, excuse me, child. Can I have some of your blood? <laughs> Wait. Can I use other people's blood? Yup. Oh. Uh -huh. There's nothing that says you can't. That's true. Hmm. Yup. Cool. Alright. I'm going to uh Alright, how much would it take to divert a current? Hold on. No, no, no. I have an idea. <laughs> I have an idea. Just background here and <laughs> ask yourself how I know. much would it take to divert that current. No, no, no. I have, a, I have a better idea. Good. I have a better idea. So, I'm going to... Uh... I really wish I knew more about Dwinde culture so I could actually apply some of these things to it. <laughs> Is it standard dwarf culture? 
No, it is far closer to Dwarf Fortress culture. Oh, that's even better. Okay. However, uh... <laughs> do remember that you have never seen a dwarven for a mountain fortress of the dwarves of the Duende. You have never I don't necessarily... even been to one, and you have no idea where one is other than the mountains to the north. That's why. But you that's know why it's a mirror. You know yeah. the the history of the grudge against the elves yeah. who sacked and destroyed the your kingdom. The of damned the elves. <laughs> the elves, which definitely exist. Yes. yes. I will say uh, I'm going to mutter under my breath elven water spirits at work for sure. <laughs> Alright, and I'm going to say hold out your hand, Venara. You're not going to like this, but it will save your crew. <laughs> he, or at least you. He puts his hand out, but doesn't quite take yours and he says what, what, what is about? What are you about to do? It, I'm going to say, close your eyes, or acknowledge that that you and any chance of helping your crew are sunk right now. Because I am not a sailor, and you are are a sailor who is not a paddler, apparently. <laughs> Which means neither of us can control this boat unless you do exactly what I say. Uh, roll charisma with advantage. <laughs> Will do. Let's see if any of these times... <laughs> Let's see if I get anything hey. anytime. Look at that. It's an All 18. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> slash, slash 3. Yes. 18 slash 3. <laughs> <laughs> now, we're in now we're in some... Isn't Very that the fun. next uh, Kingdom Hearts game? Yeah, 18 slash 3. Birth by repetitive imagery or something. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, anyway. Okay, yeah. He, he says, I'm, I'm trusting you, Duende, but know this. If you fail to save my crew, I will haunt you. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> so he takes your hand. All right, so I'm going to take out uh, my scimitar and cut his hand for the amount of blood needed to cast. Um, construction of the Duende. Er, wait, hold on. Again. Uh, creations of the Duende. Yeah. Uh, and what are, you, what, are you um, to, what are you attempting to do with this? Well, if they're more like Dwarf Fortress Dwarves, great. Let's make this a powered vessel. <laughs> Not necessarily powered, but let's... I'd like to modify the boat in order to... Uh, the dinghy in order to better chart rapids. Um, it's kind of tenuous, so I understand that there might be a higher uh, cost in this monkey's blood, but that is a price I am willing to pay. <laughs> Um, I don't know whether they add screw pumps like Dwarf Fortress Dwarves do, but that would work great. Oof. I mean, it's Renaissance times, so certainly have screw pumps. Archimedes was way before make Renaissance, a... yeah? Correct me if I'm wrong, yeah. but that, the, that the seems to make sense. True, though, the understanding of turning that into propulsion was... A hard thing to learn over time for humans, if I remember right. Well, you know, the dwellers are different. Yes. All yeah, right, that's so, true. Uh, anyway, yeah. so, so you're at least before the elves like, got them. Yeah, before the fucking elves. You're just going to like slap together these two oars and make a screw pump out of them. It's not my blood I'm paying with. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I mean. That's fine, because, like, for miracles, they are supposed to be impossible. So... Yeah, I was about to say, if I if it was something I could do already, I wouldn't be using a miracle. 
All right. Um, let me. That's why they call me Miracle Max. That's why they call me Miracle Max. And and don't go swimming for at least uh, an hour. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We can do this. Holy fuck, my power supply. Oh, is it hot? This hot, thing hot, is hot. hot. Foundry. Yep. Um. There we go. There's Savarage's little kid companion. Y'all's two little kid companions who I haven't renamed yet. And we'll put Biscoso and Modi beside each other for now. Oh. Turn the name changer off. There we go. Wow. Prime Minister of India, right here in the boat with me. <laughs> <laughs> you know it anyways um yeah so you're in the boat headed down river uh, i just put those things on there somewhere they are not at all supposed to represent where you're standing understandable yes <laughs> i get you this is this is a a a simulacrum i get it yes uh all right so you if are that. Um, go ahead and give me a wisdom roll with advantage for this okay. spell. Just... That's fun. Or for this miracle. With advantage. Yes, with advantage. Well, alright. One... Because it has to do with Those being... I succeeded, almost certainly. Oh, good. Okay. So you create... Wow, you double succeeded. Anyways, uh, you... Uh... Uh, I have an 18 wisdom. It... Hey, you know, min-maxing is fucking smart. Yeah. Um... Mm -hmm. Or it's effective, at the very least. Anyways, let's... Yep continue this on you take the uh the oars you have moti hold these oars together and he you have him focus on the like um you you slit his palm he bleeds on these oars you have him focus on like the bond he has with his crew and his desire to get back to him and you do some duende magic and these ores combine together into a screw pump, which is, for all intents and purposes, a really shitty motor, off-board motor. <laughs> yes. Perfect. All I need is any extra advantage I can get. <laughs> all right, so you... It is, in fact, masterwork. <laughs> and on fire! No. <laughs> well, it, it's not on fire. <laughs> Not yet. Uh, so you have this, um, you have this screw pump set up underneath the water there, so that it uh, acts as a propeller, and you have uh, Modi is back there, um, you know, screwing it around. Quit screwing around. <laughs> That's right. And he gets uh, you over to the the boat. Um, what was the wisdom save about? I succeeded. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so it's not a problem. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. <laughs> All right, so you get around to the backside, uh, or the side of this boat on the other side, away from where the citizens are uh, in the their fishing vessels coming up on side. You're assisted up onto the boat by uh, Moti's... Um, shipmates uh some of them who like uh one of them hugs them and says oh marty we thought we thought you were gone in the flood and he says of course not i would always find my way back and he says, you're going to get in trouble looking for tarts one of these days 
and he just sort of like uh looks sheepish and like messes with his hair and i'm says, going to say oh brought... my but i'm totally worth it <laughs> 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 um Modi Modi turns like like blushes visibly even as a Venara. Uh and the sailor just laughs uproariously and turns and looks at you and says you, you are not a thousand layers of bread folded in with butter. You are not the sort of tart that that our friend Modi is looking for. You may be filled with, uh, with berry filling, though. <laughs> That's <what> they said. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Modi, who is this friend of yours? And um, Modi turns and says, uh, "He, uh, he, he was in town. He saved me from a." A group of these citizens who were out for blood, for justice. They thought I stole food, but I didn't. I swear, innocent. Total, 100%. And, um, yeah, so uh, he helped me he helped me uh, return back here to, uh, to the boat. Um, and the, uh, the other sailor says, well... We seem to be in a bit of a predicament here with the locals. They seem to uh, be out for, well, food more than blood. Seems all anyone can think about these days is is how hungry they are. Um, you, Duende, long time since I've seen any of your kind. Elves took care of that. Elves. Right. Mm. Don't trust them. Never trust them if you see one. I certainly wouldn't. The elves are not of the sea. Therefore, they are not to be trusted. Now. That's true. Good man. Um, <laughs> Just imagine this, like, diminutive ancient, terrifying <laughs> face, just like, <clears throat> yes, blood. Yes. When mm -hmm. 900 years no. old, you reach, look this good, you <laughs> will <No>. not. <laughs> you will not. Boo's <laughs> <laughs> is just gonna immediately turn into Yoda. <laughs> Pretty much. Alright, um... <laughs> You think Buscoso? <laughs> <laughs> know him well, I do. <laughs> yes, follow. <laughs> All right. Um, and then you can just beat up his small blue child. <laughs> yes. Made out, of, made out of a trash can. All right. Um. Right. So, you uh. You know, as you're making your introductions here, you see this uh, woman who is wearing much more ornate and flamboyant clothing and a large um, headdress made out of some yellowish metal. And uh, she has someone beside her holding a parasol up above her head. And she looks down she stands at the side or at the um the rail on the side of the boat and looks down at the the citizens in the water and she says you do not have permission to come aboard my boat therefore if you attempt to board it will be seen as a hostile act and we will have no choice but to cut you down and ventilate your skulls I suggest you return before we get tired and begin, or begin even if you do not set foot on the boat. Uh, one of the citizens says, "We know, we know you've been hoarding food." Another says, "Yes, yes, you must share share the food with us." 
and the uh, the the woman says, "This is my boat. It is my right to do with what I want. And what I what provisions I have are not to be shared with anyone who is not my crew." Um. The it seems, however, that like the crowd down below is starting to get more agitated. Uh, what are you? Well, she hasn't exactly been giving them good news so far from their point of view. <laughs> uh, what or what? What am I gonna do? Yes. Oh, I'm gonna sit are, back if she has a do? if she has if she has a fucking plan. <laughs> like. I mean, you know, the, the thing... plan here, it looks like it's going to end up with a bunch of people dying trying to get on a boat. All right. Uh, what, like, the, you're not entirely were any of sure them, were, how this yeah, battle would were, pan out. You think it's, you know, despite yeah. the fact that uh, the sailors have a home team advantage, they are outnumbered. And... Um, do I see anyone from the, do I see anyone from that lynch mob on the, on the fisher boats? Sure, roll a, pers or, um, wisdom. Perception? Uh, wisdom, yes. Yeah, cool. roll wisdom. Just regular. Will do. I know. This doesn't have nothing to do with it. <laughs> Crit. Okay. Uh, no, you, you don't see anyone from, uh, the lynch mob in the, uh, in this crowd. In fact, you think that this is a completely separate event and that these people uh, had already banded together and were coming here to, at the time of the, uh, of the lynching. That makes sense. It would be, we kind of ran our way over here and then like rode like mad to get here. It would kind of, for you them to already here, be here and also have been in that. Impossibly fast. It was a miracle yeah. how quickly you got here. <laughs> yes, it might might be seen as that, huh? Anyway, uh, all right, I'm going. Um, I don't know, man. Gobin throwing all these charisma based things <laughs> <laughs> at my like ugly fucking prune of a dwarf. <laughs> yeah, You're more like, charismatic than Tiferet. And anyway, backed up by like large groups of people who you can't just be like, fuck it, kill them. <laughs> yeah. But, um, anyway. So, um. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to, uh, is the, that is presumably the captain, right? Yeah. That's the, what it, the lady with the parasol. Like, she's certainly I mean, the one in charge of this, in charge. Of this situation. Yes. I was about to say, like, you know, it's all the characteristic hallmarks of, you know, authority. Right. So, <laughs> I was assuming. Um, all right. Uh, can I... I'm going to ask, what's his name? Mo Mo Moti? Yeah, Moti. Moti. You should be yeah. able to hover over it and see it. I'm not sure if that's set to... Yeah, it should be hovered by anybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I see. I see. Yep. I'm going to ask Moti. I'm like, so how much do you, your crew, or your captain, I'm assuming, want to avoid a full-on battle between you and them? Um, he turns and looks at you, and he says... Uh, We've we've been through a lot. We've been through we've certainly faced off against a group like this before. While it is true that I was uh worried uh, for the safety of my crew, I do not think that they will be able to take this ship. I would How many of your crew do you think will die though? That precisely. I'm not sure. It's uh it's hard to tell. And that that is more what I... There's a lot of them. <laughs> yes, there are. There certainly are. Um... So, sailors as a whole, I understand, are somewhat, um... 
certain rituals tend to scare you and all. Uh, um, I, no offense, of course, uh, but here's the thing. You know that thing I did with the boat? I can do another thing, but it will require more blood, and I don't want to be lynched by sailors either, and I will also need blood. Um... I can send them back. He, uh, he says, look, uh, what somebody does in uh, under duress is not something that, like, you would be able to convince a whole crew to join in with. Uh, as you said, it, it's uh, not really something, the sort of, uh, I don't know if if witchcraft is the right term to use, to use there, but I don't know if Fair. <laughs> they would, uh, d twin, twin no, craft? No, that's, <laughs> that's fair. I'm a spooky shriveled, uh, thing that casts powerful magic using blood. It's kind of spooky, I get it. <laughs> yes. The vibe I, is bad. <laughs> Uh, the it is the, not the something, optics it is on not this aren't anyone... great. I need a better PR firm. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's true. Yes, okay. Uh, the, the captain would not readily agree to this. Understandable. I was only seeking possibilities since, <laughs> effectively, that is the only thing I can do, short of watch you and a bunch of the villagers I have to then go and uh, try and protect or part of my mission, uh, kind of slaughter each other, which is not ideal from the perspective of my organization. Uh, perhaps you should, perhaps you should talk to the captain about this then. Would like to. I was talking to you first so that I made sure that she's the sort of captain that doesn't cut you down for talking to her without ter uh, speaking without being in turn. Well, she doesn't have a sword out now, so you're probably good. <laughs> right. Okay. Good. Um, here. Remember I said about, and remember what I said about curse and dying for your for your crew <laughs> and forever. <laughs> he says, "Well, I better I better introduce you just to make sure that <laughs> we don't need any unnecessary hauntings here." <laughs> mm. The necessary ones are bad enough. <laughs> so he says uh, he he walks over to the the captain and in fact taps on the guy who is holding the parasol for the captain who then murmurs something to the captain. She turns and goes, "Oh, Moti, wonderful! I thought they might have hanged you there for a while." And uh, Moti's like, "Uh, well, yes. Uh, we did get." Uh, in with some rough types. She says, I know, I was watching. Good thing you have your friend here. What is your name, Sh Short Stack? My na uh, my name is Buscoso Long John. <laughs> <laughs> she chuckles a little at that. <laughs> it says, well met, Buscoso. My name is Bajrakali. Hmm. They call me Snail I know Shell. I don't know anything about that, right? Just offhand? Or is that an int roll or something? Um, yeah, roll, in, roll intelligence. Maybe you do. You don't currently. <laughs> yeah. Whatever that is. Sure. It's a four. Sure. Uh, you have, in fact, in your travels, um, in the time you've spent in the Yellow City, just like researching things and talking with people, you have in fact heard of Snail Shell Bajrakali and her crew. They were originally a military unit out of a small kingdom, uh, but after kingdom fell, no <laughs> kingdom still there. Oh. But after a. Uh, <laughs> After a, a battle that did not, where she, her crew did not receive the reinforcements that uh, were, they were told were coming to them, they lost faith in the kingdom and have since turned to piracy, yeah. less savory. Right. <laughs> 
Uh, ah, they, yes. It's not so much that they have been raiding ships, although they have been. It is, per se. <laughs> it is more that they are... Um, you know, that they are always looking... They move around a lot, and you never expected... But you've only heard about them in... Um, uh, down towards, like, the Topaz Islands in the, uh, in the sea. You never expected yeah. to see them, like, really far inland. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm gonna say... In Lamarack. And you are... Yeah. And I'm going to say, and you are quite far from your normal stomping grounds. <laughs> we must all move where the waters flow. Where the tides push us. And where we can find an eddy of peace. Sure. Or at least... And the rocks... Contentment. <laughs> sure. And the rocks fall downhill too, so that works. But anyway... <laughs> Enough pleasantry and elemental-based chatter. Uh, so my organization sent me here in order to investigate the town. Presumably not to also kill the townsfolk, nor watch them get killed. I understand that you uh, have to defend yourself if, if it comes to that. But is there any way we can avoid this. Now, I know you probably won't agree to this and all, but I am a powerful witch. Not that, again, <laughs> you will likely agree to that. Uh, yeah, when you say that you are a powerful witch, several of the sailors, you hear a who? <laughs> like, like, some of them telling the powerful step away from you. Twice like, in one session. <laughs> oh, calm down. Not to you. <laughs> You're not worth the blood. Any, Modi is standing there, like bandaging up his hand. I yeah slipped on the rudder. Uh, I'm going to say, however, I will say this. I know that you cannot particularly uh. You cannot condone my action. It is my actions. It's true. Uh, sailors and, you know, uh, casters of various kinds do not normally mesh well. But I don't want to die. I don't want them to die. And oddly, I'm kind of fond of this strange monkey whose <laughs> idea of recruiting help is to try and drag a witch that he knows is a witch onto a little dinghy to try and get to a big boat surrounded by other boats on time. She it's says, a very peculiar idea of bravery. <laughs> she looks um, like semi-fondly at Moti and says, ah yes, he is, he is quite peculiar, but he's always brought a cheer to this crew and he's quite handy with that bow of his. Here's the thing. I will tell Moti what I told. Uh, I will tell you what I told Moti. <sighs> he is, has. Do not waste my he, time. He though. has. He has gained my assistance in being uh, in being brought here to this boat, as I have promised him. I did this. For uh, I did this at risk to myself, with no profit. Uh, to be had from it for me. Uh, however, I told him that if I die on this, uh, if I die in your service here, that I will, and I swear this by my ancestors, my hatred of the elves, and my, uh, my rights as a witch, I will haunt you and all your crew until the end of time. At the moment, it's not looking like it's shaping up to be a situation where you're going to be able to control who lives and dies. Now, I assume you saw what I did, uh, considering that you saw me letting your crewman go. And I'm assuming, since you were able to see that with some very fine eyes, or something, quite a feat, 
one I would think you would need magic of your own to do, uh, I brought... You could see that I brought him here uh, faster than should be possible. And for that effort, I am here at risk with my mission in jeopardy. What can you do to remedy this? And you can, of course, kill me if you wish. But know that that is rolling the dice, let's say. She reaches into um, into her robes, or her jacket, and pulls out a small pistol, which she puts right up underneath your head, and she gets very close to you, and she says, I've always been quite the gambler. How about you? I said, you don't get to be my age without a few bets on the line. Now, tell me this. You may be a gambler. Is your crew a gambler? Every man jack of them? Do all of them not believe in my curse? How will you do after this all? Oh, I'm sure you'll be able to restore order eventually. She, and that I'm she sure that there will be no says, undercurrent. My crew understands my command is the final word. The ultimate word. I am their god. And you see all of her crew just, uh, like, stand at attention and go, uh, you know, they just, like, beat their chests. Impressive, to be sure. My statement nonetheless stands. You have seen me do several good turns for you, asked for or not on your part, and yet all I have received is pains on your part. Now tell me, does that seem fair to you? And I know life is not fair, but I was hoping for something more of an amicable relationship. I bear no ill will inherently towards you and your little crew, and indeed, like I said, I do have a certain sort of fondness for this one, but I am not willing to lay my life down for your crew like you and your crew would. I am not a member of your crew. She says, then make your, make your request. If it is a good deal, we shall, we shall see to carrying it out. If it is not a good deal, and she cocks the hammer back on the pistol. <laughs> then you shall receive a deal of a different kind. In but deed. yes. All right. I say this. It is. You have several options here. One is to assist me in turning away these folks with no loss of life for anyone involved. You sail your happy little way, and uh, so do they undeserving as they may be. Uh, and unfortunately, this carries a price which I'm not sure that you would be uh, that you are comfortable with, which is unfortunate. That is essentially my primary offer is I require blood. I know that you do not wish to give me blood. I do not wish to use my own blood to do this, but I will if I have to. If I do have to, know that there will be a debt between us. And what would you use this blood for? You're being very coy for someone whose life is on the line. Give me some details here. Hmm. Well, be for precise, one thing, I certainly am. Hmm. Be embarrassing to miss from that range. <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> no, was... Clack, 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 clack. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> yes. I'm stealing that. <laughs> I... <laughs> I'm gonna. I am gonna say that. I'm gonna say it would be embarrassing to miss at that range. <laughs> I'm stealing that. <laughs> but uh, I am. I'm going to say. Let's see. 
any member of that of damn it any member of those dinghies that attempt to climb on your boat will be repelled from it but Rip yes we that's what my crew yes. is for no no probably without killing them i'm not again i'm still not concerned about killing people who are attempting to get on my boat this is they they know the risks at this point <sighs> I understand that. I was asking for consideration on my position, again, as an act of courtesy in if you would, on your behalf. If you would like to return because... to the shore, you have this canoe, although... Yeah. <laughs> and do you are, think are that you they sure would be likely... Is yours? Is it licensed to you? <laughs> I, I'm going to say, don't argue with me about st about taking things that aren't licensed through areas. <laughs> Be under registration on this canoe. Any, anyway, I yes, you could lower me safely into the water. And what do you think the townsmen would think of the person who very specifically avoided them, took the uh, and took someone who's a member of your crew up to your boat, and then peacefully left your boat. Do you think that they're liable to say, look kindly on that and let me pass? No, I am stuck here with you, whether either of us want it or not. Well then, if that's the case, you still need to make yourself useful to me. You have re you said that you can repel the enemies from our boat. However, it seems that either way, it's going to require blood. Huh. Yes, well, it all comes down to blood in the end. Seems like it. <laughs> I would I'm rather... Sorry. I would rather... Trust the blood, the bloodshed that I know, rather than an unknown new bloodshed that is perhaps unpredictable and uncertain. Fair enough. So, how how offhand are you going to get me out of here then? Uh, let's let's have a sample of your power give us a sample of your power and if it is shall we say adequate i will arrange for transportation safe transportation to the harbor or the far shore of the harbor If it's you know especially interesting, that perhaps can... we can do business again in the future. A tempting offer, but where is your sim sample of how you're going to get me to the shore? You're surrounded by people who whose swords or pitchforks or whatnot you can't control. Certainly. You're but... saying that you're you're saying that you can get through. And I'm sure that you can, but with me intact, with all your crew intact, I don't care as much about the latter, but how you have said, already, you are only giving me by that offer, that which, would have, which already is mine should I choose to leave on the resolution of this conflict. Oh, if you choose to leave on the resolution of this conflict, then you will not be uh, provided any boats. You may swim, attempt to swim to shore on your own, or you may give us a hand here.
I see. However, uh, if you wish to if you wish to assist us, I have will have my my friend or my uh, my men echo and uh, <laughs> echo and P Diddy Holmes. No, <laughs> echo, echo and Windra will assist you to the shore and like these two fucking like walls of muscle type dudes just like step forward and each of them is carrying like these big machetes she says no one will be able to uh no one in any boat will be paying attention to a small ship anyways no one will be able and those who do pay attention will not be able to get through either echo or wendra Your well, safety will be name your... will be certain enough. Very well. It does. I'm still getting the worse end of this deal, for which I will remember for future uh, encounters with your crew vis-a-vis -vis saving their necks. <laughs> but I... Uh, that said, I tentatively agree. What is your test? Well, I have very little understanding of what it is you can do. Show us something useful, and we will, and I will assess whether it is worth uh, assisting you to shore or not. What can you do to help this situation? Or help us in this situation. Help my crew and myself come out ahead. You mean other than the thing that I told you I could do that you're refusing to let me do? I'm not going to provide you with a blood from my crew. That limits our options, then. Perhaps. Most of my, most of my more, most of my less subtle approaches uh, would require more blood than, frankly, I have in me at the moment. Uh, I already have used some on your crew's behalf, you see. Uh, that said, there are possibilities. One minute. I must consider. Let's see. I wish I had a teleportation spell. I'd just be like, I've considered deuces! <laughs> <laughs> the conclusion that I've reached is, fuck this! Yeah. I but, uh, let's see. Show you the miracles of the Twin Day. We call this one, Where'd That Little Bastard Go? <laughs> the John Cena theme is you're like <laughs> yes can't see me anyway <laughs> uh I legitimately out of character have to think for a minute or two <laughs> as well um, this, is, this has been a rather long scene you... <laughs> I know I have I haven't been trying to dominate the spotlight or anything. I'm trying to get out no, of here. No, it's okay. Poor Savraj had to sit there pretty much for the whole session last time. Oh, because yeah. me and Maggie were, had, like, a super long uh, scene. I had to fight, like, It was, in fact, three this. scenes that bled together. Let's see. <laughs> let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, gee. Shit yeah. I can do with... I mean, thankfully, less moving than forward three. once we're finished less with the fucking flood... Then it's yeah, all just going to be like, blood. we're not going to be bouncing back and forth like this crazy shit. Yeah. Do, do, do. Shit I can do with uh, the amount of blood in my veins. Do, do, do. <laughs> uh, what? Where is my... Oh, there it is. Yeah. So preferably... So less than four, preferably less than like three. <laughs> so you've got one, two... And one d six. I've got what? One two. How does one d six? How does one measure their? What do you own mean by that? Your levels one, two, of one, 
the the, the level of a oh yeah you can cast. one two and one d six yeah I know yeah I mean you can all right well I'm hoping two d six but I, the odds are not good for that it does not I seem do smart. not think that's a good idea <laughs> even one d even one d six is kind of <laughs> even even one d six is kind of chance in it to be honest absolutely because yeah. was it I have higher five your, and what? higher than higher your level than doubles, doubles though. Yeah. Or so. Or doubles. Although, yeah. If you pulled yeah. off a Snake Eyes 2d6 roll on a miracle, <laughs> that would be that would be the hypest thing. Yes, but also I'm not gonna do that. Yes. Yeah, so, that would be like a Hail Mary moment. You're like, I've got three hit points. So, we need. Jobin, you said if it's more than ha more than what level? Then your level. If it's more oh, than your level, it doubles. So it has to be, or yeah, which would, would kill doubles. me, essentially. Yeah. Yeah, which, which would kill me. If it's three or higher, it would it would kill me to double that. Yep. So, well, so it, all it right. Not kill um, you, but it would certainly hurt. <laughs> hmm. All right. Uh... <laughs> I'm going to um, use. You activated my trap card. <laughs> mm -hmm. And attempt to use it to. Oh, let's see. Create a. Um, I don't know. Turn. The. I'd like to turn the boards on either the. Uh, the uh, dinghies or the ship into kind of a springboard, or not a springboard, but like a trap. You know those traps that like will they rely on wood's elasticity of certain types. Mm -hmm. You know the one I'm talking about. So like, I'd like to try and make it like you know be a um. Well, what's the goal? Like, what's I the keep outcome? trying to say. The outcome is that they oh, either the mechanics. It, like what is the outcome that you want this thing to do? I want I want them to tr uh for the wood to essentially push them off the boat. Okay. To make them sp be sprung to off the boat. So <laughs> very technical term. You want something to like just fling them off. I the want boat. the wood to kind I'd like the wood to kind of like flex them off hard. Okay. Well, that sounds awesome. <laughs> that sounds really sexual. <laughs> Rubber boat. All right. Um, <laughs> I have no idea how much that that will. I, I'm guessing it's gonna. If it's two, it's borderline, and it might be one d six. Roll a. It is admittedly a trap, and it is admittedly within the natural property of wood. Right. But he makes good points. But also. It's a lot of shit. <laughs> roll, and it's instant. roll wisdom. Roll wisdom. <laughs> All right, man. I have a feeling he's telling me to roll wisdom to see if I get the right feel on how much blood it will take. If so, <laughs> that will be that, is, that, that will be what uh, I'm asking uh, for. Good. I was about to say. Um, Ooh, you. Get, you get the feeling that, given the superstitions of these sailors and the overtly threatening manner of the captain, that sh it's probably not the best idea to do this to her, to make her ship, or to take control of magical control of her ship. So. But uh, you do also think that you would be able to do this to. Uh, to some the of dinghies, the, yeah, yeah, to the dinghies. So you're not, you're not doing anything to her ship, but yeah. you're achieving the same effect. All right. Uh, but it would only affect uh, one of the dinghies. All right. I'm going to go ahead with that. Whoever looks the most commanding in general. Okay. I rolled a nat 20 on perception previously, so no, I'm not rolling it again. <laughs> uh, and we're going to... Or nat 20, or not nat 20. You okay, know what cool. I mean. Yeah. Critical, su critical success! 
Yes. <laughs> a double plus positive. A double good plus roll. positive roll. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's. Um, yeah, yeah we're, we'll say this is also going to take a minute, like a full minute, in order to set this up and keep that oh, all right. blood low. Fair enough. Um, go ahead, roll... Yeah, roll wisdom with advantage for this. And it's a good thing I min-maxed into that stat. There sure is a lot of that that I gotta do, huh? <laughs> Not complaining, though. Some charisma? <laughs> charisma? No. No, no, no. no. Wisdom. Oh. Uh, you, were you were having a lot of charisma earlier. Yeah, both of those, really. All Success right. with quality 16. Yep. So you... I don't know what that means, but it sounds good. <laughs> um, that would be in case it was like a contested thing. So you ah. gotta roll the highest while still being underneath. Yeah. Equal to or underneath. All right. Cool. Yep. So if uh, someone was trying to, if you're grappling, you would both roll strength, and if you gotcha. succeeded and rolled an eleven, yep. and they succeeded but rolled yep. a five, you yep. would win. Understand it now. Yes. Um. Anyways. Uh. Da, 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 da. So, uh, yeah, uh, you see one of the boats uh, is, like, they are the ones who are the most aggressive and coming towards the ship about to board as much as po or the soonest. And... I'm going to make a dramatic motion towards it so that the captain can see I'm doing something, even though it's completely unnecessary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, go ahead. Um, uh, you got to sell it, you know? Yeah, well, yeah, sure. sure. Um, you, you, uh, that's something you don't even have to roll for. Like, you're able yeah. to, like, make this seem, you're able to, like, I mean, even if I just pointed in a direction without trying to act, it would still be somewhat impressive. It doesn't like need this. anything to happen. <laughs> yeah. All right, so All right, you so create you, a uh, springboard trap right. on this, uh, the front of the this uh, dinghy, uh, and, dinghy. As and as this guy, guy is about, about to, like, get, get up, up and board, board onto, onto the, the ship, ship, like, make some big uh, motion board towards board. it, the uh, boat, boat itself, itself just clearly, clearly moves and goes... Boing, boing. and flings him <laughs> high into the air off of the boat behind the boat and he lands in the water and is uh, comes up and is like oh it is uh being swept down river by the current oops oh. two is better than however many else <laughs> Uh, at, this at this point, point the captain uh, again, again walks up to the railing and looks down at the, uh, the citizens, the crowd before, and says, That is but a taste of the power that we have aboard the Latipan. If you ever attempt to set foot on my boat without my per explicit permission, and she points her gun down into the crowd and just fires it into a boat. <laughs> you can expect worse than that. Now get out of my sight. And the uh, the other citizens are like, oh, well, we know we know want none of this witchcraft shit. And they the, the boats start to head back towards the harbor. Bounce a bullet off the rubber boat. <laughs> I swear to God, I've Bounce I've a, saved uh... so many fucking ingrates today. <laughs> yeah. Just uh, bounce a graviton particle beam off the main reflector. Off the dish. main deflector dish. Yeah, that's yeah. the way to do it. <laughs> That'll get them. Making shit up as we, wish. as we wish. The Klingons in the room. Yeah. All right. No. No. <laughs> none of that. <laughs> so. Uh, all right. Uh, How much damage was that? Two... I haven't subtracted damage yet, so... Uh, we'll, we'll make it only one. Oh, wow. Okay, cool. You didn't really, really deal damage to the guy. That's true. You just springed him. That's true, I did spring them. Did damage to his ego, maybe. Yeah. Well, that depends Lines. on whether he can get... 
get onto a boat or in river before. <laughs> I mean, you maybe he doesn't indirectly kill him. Anymore. But you yeah. know, <laughs> pushing someone off a cliff takes very little energy on your part, and they die. Yes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's it's not the energy that you put into them that is what kills them. I need um, a copy of Melf's Portable Cliff or something. <laughs> Just to... um, Where did that come from? Oh! Push! <laughs> oh my god. Wily Coyote themed spells. Oh, I already have a, I already have a suite of them. Just not a miracle my... called Acme. Yes. <laughs> yeah. You summon the wall, but have it just looks like a painting of a road I, through a tunnel. I, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I, I have two more I get to design, too. They're still undefined. They're not prepared for the day. Yeah. I, I haven't been reading the character sheets. I get you. I, I haven't really either, to be honest. I like but, to be surprised. Yeah. All right, so... Interesting turn of events for tonight. Oh, okay, so, uh, yeah, um, the captain turns around and says, We shall escort you back to the... Back to... Back to town. You may be I'm interested like to really... know that your, uh, your fellow collaborators have made their way to the Temple of the Watchman. Well, thank you for that. I suppose this, I'll take whatever profit, uh, whatever scraps of profit from this dismal situation I can. <laughs> tell your, uh, tell your Vanara friend over there to not get lynched so much. <laughs> Indeed, that is great advice. You should heed his words, Moti. If you're hanged from a rope on land, we can't you won't be hanging from these uh, sails repairing them like you normally are able to do. So let's get back to work. We have a lot to do here. Uh, hey well, Cap Captain. Mr. This may Mr. have... Busco, so we will be in touch. I see... I think we have a glorious... Uh, mutually wealthful... Or, relationship brimming just below the surface of these waters farewell for now and you will hear from us in the future good and winds she and turns fair and, like yeah. walks off i say good winds and fair sea seas know that despite our interactions uh getting a little heated i do not wish any of you ill Okay, uh, so she's going to escort you back to, or uh, the crew is going to escort you uh, back to the temple of the Watchman. Now. Well, that was a wash, literally. <laughs> <laughs> you made some friends. Gonna take a bath on this one. Mm -hmm. yep. Exactly. <laughs> okay, so. They, they put me through the ringer, you know? So, so, so. Yes, more idioms. <laughs> we get Just to have... Left hung out to dry. Uh, quite the interesting uh, one final scene here. However, okay. it is the scene that none of y'all decided to go to. <laughs> <laughs> Fun. <laughs> Is it the woman just getting skewered by a couple bandits? It is. <laughs> I assume she's dead. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. We'll, 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 we'll get there. We'll get there. There's only so much really, really bad idea having people I can save at once. <laughs> you know, like... We just got out of the cannibals. I really wasn't, like, looking for another fight. Yeah, I was just like, bullets Fuck. cost money. <laughs> you know what? And you know what? This shit's Miracles expensive. cost blood, and I don't have a whole <laughs> lot of that shit left. You need a nap. I need a it, nap and some, like, red meat or something. Is, God's sake. <laughs> is every mage in this just a blood mage? A blood mage, yes. To sacrifice their own blood to cast yep. spells? Not necessarily their own, but oh. yes. 
blood. It always costs just hit blood. points. It costs someone's HP. Mm. Yep. If there's only you around and you are the and or you're the only one who you're willing to do that to and or is willing, then yeah, it's yours. But I don't know if you were gone when I helped that Venara, oh, but I cut his hand in order to make an onboard motor, essentially, for his little dinghy. Yeah, if you can... But I used his blood, not mine. And I was Every... trying to... If you guys don't mind, I was writing my timesheets for work. Because I, I need to do that afterwards. I get <laughs> it's fine. Like <laughs> but yeah, no, I, I could, you know, I was I trying there to anyway. I was trying to convince the captain to do it, you know, to to do the same with maybe her crew's blood with me, but that wasn't happening, obviously. Obviously. Uh, I knew it was a long shot. But yes. I mean, it would have been kind of awesome if you just got, like, all the crew to pitch in their blood. Do you know how much fucking magic I could do with that much blood? Yes. <laughs> it's just like, well... Yes, yes, I do. <laughs> yeah. Like, hey, you want your boat to just be bigger? Yeah, it's like, do you want shiny things? I mean, shiny things? I don't know. That can't... Yeah, You but... want someone to just die instantly? Just smoke. No, yeah. no, no. That's I've, I've clearly one of like, the previously made the uh, um, uh, analogy that... Uh, father from heart. FMA Brotherhood is just casting a white hack miracle when he's like, no, I'm good. I need like a lot of people. Look, I could make a Philosopher's Stone like sacrificing myself, but that would be a shit Philosopher's Stone. I tried it with the city once. This thing is fucking the tits. So what if I do it with an entire nation? That's gotta be some good shit. <laughs> And Roughly then he's just correct. Like, what about two hundred thousand? Yeah, <laughs> or more. Yeah, probably like it essentially works like that. One frankly, I'm in health in that. <laughs> frankly, I'm stone. shocked that there has to be an upper cap somewhere on what you can control with it somewhere because, like, otherwise. I'm shocked that everyone isn't living under a majocracy already who regularly receives blood tithes, you know, which is enforceable by unstoppable magic. <laughs> you know? Maybe it hasn't quite it's taken like, off yet. It's just like, you know, two, like a vial every week of blood from every member of, like, NYC, every person in NYC uh -huh. would oh. pay enough to, like, pay for the enforcement of that and then world-altering effects. So I've I kind mean, of just thought of I, I've kind of just thought of like some of Winslow's maybe like incentive in this world is that like he really doesn't understand the whole blood equivalent exchange, and he's trying to find a medium that will take the place of blood in terms of conjuration. Good luck. Um, yeah, <laughs> I think I think actually like. I'd love maybe, that too. <laughs> uh, maybe a good way of explain, like you know, people are superstitious of all like spellcasters, but like maybe the reason why is because everybody instinctively understands that if we give them an inch, yeah. they'll take a mile. <laughs> all it takes is a bit of blood. Um, Step right up. Yeah, Step like right up. the <laughs> moment a mage like gets a cult going and has yeah. that cult like everybody put your blood in the communal blood pool and then well, once here's the other thing i don't blood understand for the blood god skulls for the skull throne yeah yeah corn for I the know, corn uh, chips uh, yeah uh, <laughs> uh, yeah yeah i i think i think what you mean to say uh, something something changed for the changer of ways anyway uh <laughs> uh so, but anyhow um is magic we're talking about here. No corn bullshit here. <laughs> Maggie, did your... When was the last time you, you saw corn? I said Spanish. I said slant it. I was about to say, when was the last time you saw a corn sorcerer? Yeah, you should be loaded <laughs> Dawn of War doesn't count. Scene. Oh, well, I haven't... I don't have the canvas on. Oh. Yeah, neither my do game I. Also, my game also my computer will explode. Let me load back in. My, neither does mine, anyway. But... Just but yeah, it, my question, I don't know. 
my question is why doesn't a bunch of mages pool their blood together? Because like, you know, they presumably aren't superstitious about it, at least. Well, yeah. All of this will be answered, and more mysteries as well as time progresses. In future, I'm a whole... tune in next time to see Booz Gosso proven wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it there a majocracy? Okay, now it's loading. Now it's loading. I'm pretty this sure is there why. is. <laughs> There's a slugocracy. Yeah. Mind you, if there's anti-magic anything, that is probably the answer. Okay. <laughs> so, for this scene, none of your characters are present. <laughs> oh, an epilogue. Yay. <laughs> mm, not quite. This is epilogue part one. This is actually the final scene. Um, but it, it was, I'm going to do something fun with this. If you look under the character tab here... Uh, the actor's directory, you should see a new section called NPCs. There should be a folder in there marked Eagles, yep. and there should be a character inside. There should only be one for each yep. of you. Der meter. You will see, <laughs> uh, if you open that up, you should see a short little paragraph at the bottom. Uh, you know, three by five card of instructions. Uh, take a minute to, um, cool. to take a minute here to like get those in your mind and you can in fact just keep it open. <laughs> I will. And Dur Dermeter, he's the beater. <laughs> where, where is the card? Sorry. I had to figure out my foundry settings and, it's in NPCs under Eagles. Yeah, if you go to the where your character I sheet see. normally is, there should be an extra character sheet there now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Billy, did you read yours? Yep. Okay. okay. All, right. All right. So what we have here, uh, in this scene where a woman faces down some well-armed mercenaries, uh, with her almost literally her back against a wall, we zoom into the mind of Samya Binti Hayati. Uh, Hayati is a prematurely gray-haired woman in middle age, and she comes from a one of the more wealthy families of Vendran Dop. She's... Not to interrupt, but we should only see gray here, right? Mm. Nope. Ah. It's the uh, kind of battle map. Okay, right. I'm just going to assume I can see. I'm just going to pretend I can see it. <laughs> uh, Right, how about... Can you see now? Not yet, but give it a minute. That's fair. The last time you tried, it, like, wasn't for a while, and then it did. No, I still don't as of yet. Oh, man, we'll, we'll let you know what changes. Man, these guys are even more messed <laughs> up than our normal portraits. <laughs> We're currently, yeah, this, I got looks pretty fucking <laughs> This is some, um, uh, Scrap Princess artwork for, from the was... actual module. Ah. Uh, the artwork that I've been using for the other NPCs. The, the artwork that I've been using for the other NPCs is all from A Thousand Thousand Islands. Oh. Um. A, so we're all in the center ring. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, you're all just like, um, talking to each, you're talking to this woman in the, um, in the main square. This is the main square of, uh, Vendranda. Uh, so, Hayati, uh, being a wealthier person, was involved a lot with the, 
goings on within the town of Indrindop, and she became sort of a de facto town leader. When her husband died, she was basically a de facto mayor of the town and has been doing her best to keep the the town moving forward, um, being as prosperous as possible for uh, everyone who lived here, who called it home, who had called it home for generations until today. When the Fire Nation attacked. When the Fire Nation Nation attacked! (laughs) Um, Now, meanwhile, the other group we have here are known as the Eagles. The Eagles are a mercenary band known far and wide. I mean, listen, I knew they, like, took a lot of money and sold a lot of merch in the end, but it's a little rude to call the Eagles mercenary, you know? <laughs> this is their <laughs> reunion <laughs> tour! Um, <laughs> I believe it. That one looks mummified <laughs> enough to be one of them. <laughs> uh, there are three. Although, Although they, they have, have acquired uh, several um, henchmen and followers and recruits, the Eagles consider only three members to be true members of the Eagles. The uh, leader of the Eagles is a blonde bearded giant wearing a broadsword and a bronze chest plate with the massive eagle wings spread across the front. Uh, his name is Kalari John. Uh, there is also the female sorceress, with one half of her body wizened to ancient, and the other half young and beautiful. She is known as Veshtarok. And the third one is a crazed, tattooed mystic wielding a glowing mace and smiling unhingedly, or in an unhinged manner, known as the Dur Meter. Doer? Um, I haven't even met her. (laughs) (laughs) That's how the scene starts. Behind uh, behind them stand three scarred and scowling uh, armed and armored assistants carrying most of their equipment, as well as a small group of scouts. Um... Hayati says, uh, it's, it's my duty here to, it is, it is my charge to keep this town safe from ruffians like yourself. That's not ruffians. Ruffians. We fought to protect your town for a mere pittance that we've been, we've been doing this for charity, Hayati. I've seen the, I've seen people like you before. I know what your charity entails. Little more than extortion. Ugh. Oh. Hi, hi. What even is extortion? We have driven... We have kept you safe for a low price, yes? All we look for is a place to to lay our heads down. Is that not fair? Oh, excuse me. That Dia pizza dies. That, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, that pizza. Oh, boy. I was like, okay, they're talking. I can take this bite of pizza. Boy, that... Oh, that was way chewier than I expected. Anyways. Um... Hayati starts to look, uh, like, she's, she's unsure of herself. She says, what, I, I will not cave to this. Look around you. We are in a crisis. You are taking advantage of a troubling times. People are dying left and right. Hayati, 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 listen, listen, we're here to help. But we want our money first. 
<laughs> what? How am I even supposed to pay this? You'll find a way. I believe. I believe you will. Ah, um, uh, you. Which one are you, Billy? I'm. Uh, I'm Kalari John. Jin, John. I'm the. Yeah. I'm the leader. <laughs> you're the. You're the one without a portrait. It... <laughs> Oh, I, I do have a portrait. portrait. I'm He's the got center. A beautiful portrait. <laughs> oh, I don't, I don't have. I don't have. I don't have his portrait or the background. You don't see my oh, wonderful yours, mustache. Is yours just like not showing yeah, yeah. up? Nope. nope, nothing. I mean, I have, I have some Samyas. I have Vesterok. I have mine, and no background, and not Kalari John. Huh. All right, I'm Kalari John. Uh, Maggie's I'm gonna reload this page real quick. Is that a good idea? <laughs> Reloading doesn't yeah, yeah. like if you if you right? reload it, it should be fine. Okay, I'm gonna reload. Valar John is the one that looks like a mustachio chicken nugget. <laughs> well, uh... <laughs> well, I can't see, but that sounds very exciting. <laughs> Accurate. <laughs> Look. I, I colored these in. They were just black and white. And I figured that I it was doing a good job and staying true to, like, the scrap in Scrap Princess. Yeah, that's <laughs> fair. Vestra kind of looks like, uh... <laughs> like mashed potatoes. Yeah, no. I still don't, I still don't got... I still don't got nothing. No, Vestra. Oh wait, no. Connection timed out. Vestra looks like fruit <laughs> you've left you on the ca- like that you've left in the fridge for too I long. I guess that is. Uh, so we, I mean, I we don't. You don't necessarily need the map. We could keep continuing with the scene. Anyway, yeah. You know, you know who's who now. Well, I mean, I, I mean, my connection timed out anyway. So. Yeah, I don't know. Keep trying to reload it. If you get back in, you get back I'm in. I'm working on just, it. Um, yeah. It took me a second to get back on. I, I disconnected before this. Says the connection timed out. All right, so um, yeah. So Hayati says, "What? What? What, what is? What is your what is price? price, men? What's our price? No, we already have too many men. <laughs> mm, that's that's very true." Uh, astute, astute observation as always, Dravider. I love you so much. You're amazing. Um, no, we would like gold, please. That, that's the that, that's the typical fashion that we are accustomed to. And until gold, wine and a comfortable place will do. <laughs> gold, yeah. wine. Look, look around you. Where would it, where should I find? Where do I find these things? Where would you find these things? <laughs> Go to it, someone's house. They're probably not there right now. <laughs> there, <laughs> there, are, there are a number of the deceased around here, yes? They will not be needing neither their wine nor their gold, I believe. If I understand the deceased I've seen in the past. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Um, she says, oh, "Okay, uh, we'll we'll find we'll find what we can uh, uh, scour together." And uh, I'm not sure I'm not sure where to find wine, but we can look around. I I know some friends who have a cellar nearby. There's probably wine that they keep in there. Oh, cellar. All right. Let's go there. But first, <laughs> you're getting tied up. I'm sorry. It's just for collateral's sake. We're not, you know, nothing. I'm sorry. Oh, we don't need to. Mm. You know, I what if she runs very off? Very cooperative right now. If she, if she runs, how, if she runs how, off, how can I help you if I'm tied up? Allow her to move. If she runs I, off, we can kill someone. I'm on your side here, hey, Adi. I think, I think, I think she's safe <laughs> with us. Are we bad, good cop, bad cop, insane cop? Right yes. <laughs> <laughs> or, otherwise known as the Splicely. LAPD. <laughs> yeah. Good cop, stupid cop. Explicitly. 
<laughs> like those are our instructions. All right, all right, all right. I'll leave the man man manticles 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 down <laughs> down. down. Yes, yeah, thank thank you. <laughs> manticles. <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> yes, you use manticles on your mandates. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Obviously. It... Okay, so are you y'all are not tying her up? Oh, uh, we won't tie her up. She's not going nah. much. She's but I will her. I will put my She's good arm around her like in a very like a in a very annoyingly chummy way. <laughs> <laughs> like, draped around her shoulder, like... Tell me about the sights of this town. <laughs> um, Tying her... Um, <laughs> she's just like, she's not at all sure what to say. She's like, oh, it's a small, it's a small uh, village. There's is a river, uh, the Dolong River here. There's uh, two more villages up up river. Mm -hmm. And it's the just, river many it's just farming around here. We barely make enough for subsistence, but uh, we occasionally have enough to export some herbs and chives and. You have many. You have many friends, hey, Adi. The river flows, but connects us all, but we are too blind to see. <laughs> I hate it when he talks like that. You're damn right I'm right. <laughs> Don't forget it. Um, <laughs> or I'll connect you to the Grand River. <laughs> she does not look... She looks uncomfortable and, but at the same time knows that that means something she doesn't want to to figure out. Yeah, Best Rock's just gonna like, just like you know that like shaking him with like the shoulder and the neck is just like oh, I don't mind their meter. He says all sorts of things that don't make any sense. <laughs> Have you not been paying attention to our lessons, brother? <laughs> <laughs> Sister, but yes. <laughs> like, what all human flesh is born. Do? <laughs> um, Hayati says, uh, uh, may I ask what, what it is that brought you to Vindrandop? Oh. Um, what have we been talking about this entire time? We want money. <laughs> and purity. And friends. And of course to see the safety of your wonderful town. And also a place to lay low from the law. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dermeter. All right, <laughs> Dermeter, calm down. <laughs> oh, he says crazy things all the time. He's a nut job. I do a little. <laughs> Lying is a sin, brother. <laughs> he's a little muggy action going on. Oh, he's a jokester. He's just such yeah, a jokester. Dermeter, amazing sense of humor. <laughs> another this is another true. huge whip well, from Dervider. Oh my goodness! She says, "Well, <laughs> I suppose, luckily for all of us here, we are far beyond the reaches of the slugs in the Yellow City, and <laughs> and no, there is no law, no centralized sort of kingdom that holds sway here." <laughs> Now I'll stop you. Wait, I'll stop you right there. We are the centralized government of this area. Well, and of course, the divine. Wow. Yes, and the divine, of course. Yes, this is why we get on so well, brother. <laughs> <laughs> right, so. <laughs> and through the divine and our stunning brotherhood, we will bring... Great glory to this town. 
And gold for us. And gold. <laughs> Preferably gold. And soon. Okay. Um, <laughs> that's how we doing? I think I think that's fucking wonderful. <laughs> All right. I started I started off with the instructions you gave me. I swear, go. <laughs> 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 he's a sort of zealot. <laughs> the instructions are that he's quiet, calculating, and reserved. <laughs> I started out as that, but in the end, I was just like, I was just like, yes, quiet with with an internal like with an internal strength and like a real strong like, you know, he's like quiet but really forceful inside. And then I'm like, yeah, like a religious zealot. And then I'm like, yeah, like a stupid <laughs> religious zealot. Who <laughs> he's strong who and quiet because he's dense as the rocks he stands on. <laughs> he knows enough quotes about a theoretical religion to perhaps to perhaps occasionally drop wisdom that is not really wise. <laughs> He is the moon boy of our group. Of our group. <laughs> I'm inordinately fond of him and might make him my backup character or something like that. <laughs> yeah, can we just move to make all of these our backup characters? <laughs> we die? I mean, they're assholes to be sure. But like, <laughs> they're great though. I go, but they're I love pretty it. fun. We I want to be a band of mercenaries. <laughs> Sure, we can. Uh... Assuming they don't immediately die, of course, within oh, the next yeah. couple of seconds, which. Oh. Is scene change yeah just bringing everyone <laughs> back here to the front want to do um a quick meetup scene where everyone well modi's not here anymore um but <laughs> pops out of existence <laughs> <laughs> uh all right so everyone is back here we'll assume that Thodo is in semi existence at this point <laughs> um so this is whoop! I need to rename these to Govin. It's like it's like the gamers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's uh, what was it? Strong Mark or whatever. Yeah. What about Strong Mark? Blood. He's been here the whole time. And All just right. Hands over, and it's like, wait, <laughs> we forgot about him. <laughs> yeah, he was also here. The one session he's there for half a minute. <laughs> Blood. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Murders everything. Uh, <sighs> oh, that was such an accurate <laughs> portrayal. <laughs> I'm gonna sneak attack him with my knife. <laughs> what do you need with your enough. knife? Knife's not good enough. That won't deal hardly enough. Only one d four. I'm gonna <laughs> sneak attack him with the ballista. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway. All right. Um. Labib <laughs> and uh, who was the other one? There was Labib and Labib's sister, Muna. Muna. Baby, oh, really? baby, oh. <laughs> All right, so uh, let's um quick, quick outro scene here where everyone meets up back at the Temple of the Watchman. Uh, so, um, Echo and oh, what was his name? Let go my Echo. Let go my Echo. Echo and his, uh, the, the two walls of meat that Snail Shell Badrakali uh, promised as a, an escort have helped you to uh, reunite with your, uh, collab your fellow collaborators. And Hello. At this point, they say, "Hello, we have brought your diminutive friend back." And then the uh, the, the seers inside um, the the woman seer says, oh, "Would you like some tea? We just started a second pot." And they say, "Oh, lovely!" <laughs> and they are off on the side sharing tea. <laughs> yeah. And she seems to be more like interrogating them and just like getting 
to know yeah. them more than she's saying anything about herself. Yes. Uh, oh, Winslow is as- Winslow is asleep. He's passed out on the pew. He has his book over his face. Hello, friends. <laughs> I have <Different>. returned. <laughs> Difference teaching the children how <laughs> to like to do tricks with a cigarette. Like, like, <laughs> little flips. Yeah. All right. <laughs> She's like, all right. So this is the one thing you gotta learn, Muna. Pretty girls don't light their own cigarettes. <laughs> yeah, she's lighting one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. All right. Um, well, Abe's having a fucking crazy time. Is Sunshine I'll back bet. or something? I think. I don't know. I don't know. Abe lights his own cigarettes. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Um. So what? <laughs> what do you all have to say amongst each other about the? today's events as the sun is starting to dip lower uh the shadows are creeping along let me move the time clock up to 1700 sounds good um the hues in the sky are starting to turn um more orange and you know that uh while the sun will never dip below the horizon uh, it is approaching the darker hours of the day. I'm going. I'm going to say I made friends with a boat of people who I hate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's wonderful, so so. No one tried to eat you. Uh, no, they tried to blackmail me into using my own blood after I saved their lives repeatedly. I hate. Well, them. I suppose you're hardly appetizing. <laughs> That depends on how hungry you are. Well, someone tried to eat me, and these two cut tykes. Didn't do a very good job. I would do a better job than that. <laughs> if I were, other, if I were to kids do it. are like unsure and are like <laughs> visibly <laughs> uncomfortable. <laughs> if I were to, of course, which would be immoral and wrong. <laughs> And they're just, like, cowering behind Tiff. Ah, that's fair, too. Yeah, Tiff, the only source of safety in this godforsaken world. Something like this, that. Yes. This bugfuck crazy murder woman. I, um, when I hear Buscoso's voice, I, I rouse from my slumber. And, uh... Um, Anyway, like uh, one of them's melted, and the other one's uh, lost their appetite after watching that. Which is funny, you know? Like, you'd think human soup would be appetizing to cannibals, but no. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, they usually like more of a crunch, uh, generally, in my experience. Uh, the soup is not as... Listen, it you've got to have a full course if you're having the soup. Soup alone is just not... Why are well, you they, being a ca- cannibal if... What? 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 It's Soup and Soup what? Alone Day. Soup and Soup Alone Day is bullshit. So, there is no place no. for a mighty warrior. What? How well, much that was that? That? What? What? <laughs> you just went full-on bad radio transmission there, man. Yeah, that sounded <laughs> oh. very Wendy's drive through <laughs> uh, Let me... Let my me... ankles. <laughs> let me turn it's off your leg. It's the greatest <laughs> day. It's <laughs> over your leg. Um, <laughs> it's the greatest so day. Like, how, how familiar were we with each other before... That's we a good question. Uh, you, were, you were all coworkers, like you knew each other. Um, you and you certainly but, like, have in the weeks it took you we to get out now? here. You've been like, I assume, I assume fairly chummy with each other, as chummy as you well, like to like, establish. <laughs> I definitely. Well, I like Viscoso uh, is definitely like a, a, a very intriguing figure for Winslow, and so like probably been like trying to like strike up conversation with him but 
Like Buscosa, Buscosa on, is an asshole. <laughs> yeah, a Buscosa is an asshole. B, this guy's asking a lot of lot of really pokey questions, and Buscoso is fairly certain that he's a spy for the elves. <laughs> but it has not. But been I can neither I can either confirm not. nor deny my, <laughs> my affiliation with the elves. But oh, no. But I'm not sure yet, so I'm not killing him yet. <laughs> Okay, am I back? Yeah, you're back. Visually okay. and auditorially. Well, I d disabled the canvas. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> we don't we don't need it right now. We won't need it for this outro. We we need to like get together and crowdfund a GPU for <laughs> an eGPU or something. <laughs> like an ex external GPU. I've got like my laptop could computer. actually maybe okay. support one. If it has, yeah, I mean that's the thing is there's a surprising number that would. Anyway. I think I have a lightning port. I think I have like a weird nonsense laptop that was like five hundred bucks but had a lightning port. Lightning's pretty standard now, weirdly. Yeah. But anyway, so yeah, continue. Yeah, Gobin, what what were you saying? Sorry, I didn't mean to. Um. Didn't mean to interrupt. Yeah, I, I'm just trying to get a feeling in this scene for what your characters are expecting uh, moving forward. Like, what? You came here and you were like, we're going to go look at this this dam and see what's going on. And then everything from the last three episodes happened. So where are your characters at at this point? Well, it sounds like we should definitely look at that dam now. Yes. Also, there's a if you mean motivations, there's a small part of Buscoso after hearing so much about the dam and stuff that is hoping that it was originally Dwinde Rot and could be any remnant of the old mountain halls of old. Never mind the fact that it's unlikely to have been in this area and what they were doing with a dam and etc. Who's still knows? hoping for that? Certainly Who's go, so do you long know long. anything of this um do you know do you know of the architecture here? You mean these mud hut things? Yeah, they're <laughs> they're pretty normal human shit, frankly. The damn you <laughs> awful human being. <laughs> Wait, human one day crap. being <laughs> I haven't seen it yet, so no, not really. Um, I thought you said adventures of sailing, and where did you sail? Nowhere. I got held at gunpoint by a pirate captain to try and avoid uh, to try and avoid a bunch of villagers from here from killing the pirate captain. Yeah, that sounds like how every Wednesday's been going. Frankly, it's about right. I lost I lost a lot of blood and gained very little. <laughs> oh, speaking of gaining, wow. gaining things, um. Uh, you should all gain some experience. Yeah, I didn't get any experience. Damn well right. <laughs> last session either. Except for the uh, thousand for my portrait. Yes, uh, so Zach, you get a thousand for your portrait. For getting that in on time before last session. <laughs> I have a firm grasp of my temporal reality. <laughs> I was sick. It was a sick day, teacher. I get I get to make it up per policy. I have a doctor's note. Yeah. <laughs> sure, for university whatever. policy, Just I get to it make in. it up. <laughs> yeah, you put can... it put it in the Dropbox. It's fine. Yeah, exactly. So All you right, got, I um... just I just had a nightmare of a DM that requires a sick note. Oof. Oof. And just having <laughs> oh, to explain no. that to your doctor. You uh, know they exist. My DM, we will give me experience. <laughs> All right. Um, anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and give everyone else another, mm, I think, 500 for getting through everything. You all did. Yeah. It took a lot longer. I think we did honestly. quite well. Yeah. It honestly took a lot longer than I expected. I think that was because there are 18 scenes in this opening. Yeah, and even though I was trying to go through them as fast as possible, sometimes you know they took longer than expected. Well, one of them, one of them turned into a combat 
Two of yeah, them turned into a combat. Of them turned into combats. Although I expected some of yep. them to turn into combats, but really the uh, uh, okay. So uh, yeah, let's give everyone. Uh, yeah, let's give everyone five hundred for getting through that. Um, cool. Oh, it's let's pull there. something. I didn't even think about this. Let's pull something from Powered by the Apocalypse. You each have a hundred to give to. Um, actually, let's let's make it two hundred. Let's make it let's make it a, a fat chunk here or a sizable chunk. Big money. Uh, two fifty actually. All right, so you each get two fifty. Yeah. And you get to give this to another character, and uh, for a for a scene, doing something that you think that they uh, deserve it for, and uh, tell us what it is. So, um, who who wants to start that? Does it have to be the whole chunk? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have to do the whole chunk of two fifty. We yeah, can't yeah. divvy it up. Okay. Just to keep it simple. Wow. Yep. I'll give yep. so so. 250 for like <laughs> successfully like enduring like for <laughs> not getting shot in the face <laughs> successfully talking your way out of not getting shot in the face well thank you or lynched <laughs> or, or <yeah>. like <laughs> or just like the innumerable moments where like it there did... was a very large group of people who were going to tear you limb from limb. Yeah, it did kind of feel like I was on the edge of dying the entire time. Well, so, that's not, that's a, not bad a bad thing. thing. <laughs> it's not a bad thing every now and then. Admittedly, this is the opening of a rather uh, intense adventure, so yeah, we'll get on to that. Yeah. I'll give 250 to Tiferet for keeping these kids alive for some reason. Fair point. <laughs> and I'm some not sure why. Bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> it seems out of line with the character to want to care for children, but, uh, <laughs> but it kind of works. But it works. <laughs> <laughs> Look, she's not you the know, master. she's not the mother that they lost, but she is the mother figure that they gained for the time being. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, like you grow up in the school of hard knocks and then you're like hey kid yeah you want to load a gun looks like you got <laughs> knocked hard anyway yeah. yeah. all right True. so uh speaking of labib and muna what? and tam doing um i'm assuming or i'm just at this point treating them as uh hirelings for y'all Oh dear. Oh, also, <laughs> useless yeah. hiring. hiring. Yeah, essentially, yeah. They've got hands. They got and four I'm... wheels, two cup holders, a steering wheel. By the way, I'm giving Billy t a 250 uh, mm. so that A, so that it will be balanced as all things should be, <laughs> and B, and B, because I actually really appreciate uh, less so much something the character did, but uh, when we were like at the end of the day thing of like just a scene ago, when you were asking uh, about things, you stayed in character when I would have I thought we were discussing it out of character. You which one? pretty much stayed in character the entire <laughs> session, <laughs> which which is. Impressive and yes. good. I so I'm a method actor. <laughs> <laughs> Wizard but, uh, of the Twelfth of Ephesians. Yes, but uh, <laughs> so just you know, two fifty for that because I appreciate the fact that you did that. I didn't. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm liking I our weird. Close. I'm liking our weird band of merry uh, men too. <laughs> yeah, I do too. Our collection of homeless children. Yes, <laughs> including the adults. So, uh, real quick, um, just finger on the pulse here. Uh, yeah. How do how does does that feel like a system that y'all are comfortable with for like divvying out um, XP there at the oh, end? Yeah. Sure. Yeah, okay. I think so. Are we like or should well? <coughs> I'm wondering uh, almost more if we should do it in private than. 
but I don't know. Like, there's there. All right, there's two options here. It does feel a little weird. We could do it in but... private, or we could do it in public. But if we do it in public, I feel like it's always going to skew towards communism because we're nice people. Yes. Uh... <laughs> Look, I'm not. I'm not saying that I want it to go one way or the other. I just want everyone to be comfortable with it. Yeah. <laughs> and I and if we do it, like, in... well, that was fucking bullshit. <laughs> yeah, and if people do, and if people do it in private, then we can't really know what the thing is being rewarded true. for. Yeah, true, yeah. And honestly, so, like, uh, I just remember this as the as the way that experience worked in Apocalypse World, yeah. where you really just get your experience from your interactions with your fellow characters. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I forget the wording that they use there. I just went with yeah. you know, what was interesting tonight. It's an interesting system, but... frankly. Yeah, and I'm I, more I like it a in, lot. Like, pulling in fun mechanics and being like, "Well, yeah. I think this will. Th- we'll see how this works." <laughs> yeah, and I think that's you know that's worth trying it alone, essentially, because yeah, and also like it worked all right. You know, there yeah. may be a session where we're all like, well, that was the coolest thing ever. Yeah, <laughs> Everyone exactly. gives their yeah. experience to you. There oh, will, yeah, be, there will be... almost certainly be a time in which it's pretty obvious what the coolest part of the session was. You what know? the play of the yeah. game was, is what you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we, can, we can vote on a play of the game for the session. Yeah. That, that actually be... might actually... That might be really cool. Instead of doing 250 exactly. each, we just all vote on a on play, play of the, of the game. game. That would be kind of cool. And then little what, bit. somebody we gets like five. That. And that's like a big chunk of experience yeah. for like the play of the game of the session. Yeah. Or 750 DM. You're not would be screwing us out of the extra you're not screwing <laughs> us out of that extra 250. No, sir. Well, it would be You're right. It would only be from 3 people. Well, I guess there's 4 of you. Uh, it's just that Severaj isn't here tonight. Yeah, we could just oh, call it right. an even so thousand. thousand. So yeah, you're right. Be... A thousand. Yeah, but I feel like a thousand might level y'all up a little faster than I I don't know. Like I'm trying. Oh, I'm, trying, right, I'm, I'm have, trying to get we have a play of the, on on how quick. Play, play of the game. All right. Our power. Play of the game. Whoa, play of the whoa, game. The top. Power. Everybody yeah. gets two votes. Everybody gets two votes. The person with the most number of votes gets play of the game, mm. which is seven fifty. The person with runner up gets two fifty for runner up play of the game. Or something like that, or just two. <laughs> I don't know. That we'll seems figure like it out. Too complicated, overcomplicated. Okay. Yeah, I think Maybe. honestly, just gifting each other XP is a it's less fine. complicated yeah. thing. Yeah, it's fine. It can be fine. a like, well, what like, was the fucking was... play of the game? Yeah, we're now we're moment. nice for now. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> sure. And, we'll see how nice we are. And of future. course, the idea is that everyone gets it, but they cannot give it to themselves. They have to give it to somebody else, and mm-hmm. therefore, it sort of like defaults to this like interactions with other people yeah exactly Um, yeah and i just remember that was a fun and i found routinely enjoyable part of the uh apocalypse world sessions that you you like a little recap cool yeah yeah i like it also are we off the air not quite yet okay i've got I'm just like, it's midnight. Yes, I understand. And I very much appreciate y'all sticking through and making sure that this fucking intro is done. (laughs) Yes. Good. So we still have um, uh, uh, fucking Thodo uh, out there in the the rain. He hasn't gotten into the sanctuary yet. There is no rain. (laughs) The blood rain. <laughs> Out there in the baking humidity. Mm-hmm. That is true. Dam just collapsed. There is baking humidity. <laughs> Out there in the uh, in unspeakable in the evil that's just been released. <laughs> Out there in the streets. Alright, so. Before we close out here. We'll yeah. have one last quick scene. We'll fast forward to several yeah. hours later. Swear to God, go. <laughs> don't, don't, don't worry. Don't worry. I listen. The same thing I said to that pirate captain and him. I said, I say to you, if this, if I die here, my curse will be on. Me. <laughs> All right. We'll fast forward several hours later. The sun has dipped behind the steep mountains to the north, and the sky has. Darken. Darken. Ooh, ooh. 
<laughs> there it is. Uh, sorry. <laughs> and the sky is darkened to vibrant purples and dusky blues. It's dark enough that lanterns are lit by those who want to see clearly, but not so dark that one can't see ahead of them on the road unaided. Ankle deep in the muck of a new marsh, we find the eagles and their assistants pushing off in a set of brand new canoes. Uh, Kalari John says, And when we return, those worthless bastards won't even be expecting it. They'll grovel at our feet when they see the riches we find. Uh, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Vesh Tarak says well, that will be a lot easier now with the way that that deal went so smoothly Dormeter says yes brother we are well on our way to the good life the life that is due to those of faith <laughs> Vesh Tarak says poetic as ever Kalari John, John says, listen, listen up, up, you two. I've already Kalari worked out a new plan. plan. We'll, we'll find, find the... Uh, Kalari, Kalari, do you think, do you it, think is it is always time, time for another plan? plan? What we, what we need, need now, what is required, required of us, is not planning, but action. action. Kalari, Kalari John, John says, would you just listen <laughs> to me for once, Stormeter? And again, like, like gives him a noogie there. <laughs> Veshtarak says oh please you boys couldn't uh, now uh, with bottle of wine in hand Veshtarak says oh please you boys couldn't make this work given a thousand lifetimes <laughs> or couldn't make this work alone given a thousand lifetimes Kalari John turns around and says you can take the next boat back to the yellow city if you don't want to be here Veshtarak Veshtarak responds and leave you here alone, you two would be dead before the next cycle. She takes a swig of the bottle of wine, and there's a near silent whizzing sound, just and a hard wet. The other two see Veshtarak grasping at her throat, where there now protrudes a long needle with grooves down its length and a rabbit tail of black fuzz at the end. Within the space of, space of a breath, she gags, shudders, and falls overboard into the muddy waters. As they stand to their feet in shock, hands reach up out of the water to latch onto their legs of the eagles and the assistants. Panic sets in quickly as they scramble for their weapons. Dozens of hands find purchase in clothing and armor and pull them into the waist-deep water. The Durameter swings both of their fists down onto the skull of one of the assailants, cracking it open like a coconut. But quickly, their arms are restrained, and their head forced beneath the frothing water. The assistants... You may kill me, but not just... <laughs> <laughs> the assistants, never trained for this level of combat, offer next to nothing as they are mercilessly dragged under. Kalari John stands in the final canoe, slashing wildly with a machete. With a rattle, a light chain sails out of the grasses, wrapping around the tall man's neck. He turns to identify his new assailant, and a crescent-shaped blade cracks through his cheekbones. He sputters like a sprinkler valve. The hands pull his now unresisting body below the water. And everything is now silent. All right, then. Yes, oh. we're not using them as our reserve, huh? Now Eagles. we're gonna come back as we're gonna come back as some uh fucking like uh pirates of the Caribbean style pirates. <laughs> you know what? You know what, Billy? You know what, I'd, Billy? I'd be down. You know what, Billy? Mm. Only the truly faithful would be blessed with such a second gift at life. <laughs> I got a right. chance at life. Well, I like their like, nice little mercenary band troop. I'm sad to see them go. Yeah. All right. Well, let's go ahead and sign off for the night. It's late enough. Yeah. All Thanks right. Again, for yeah, watching guys. another episode of Collaborators Without Direction. We will be back in two Sundays. Should be. Oh, I was looking at the Monday there because it's after midnight. That will be uh, the 24th. 24th. 
I was like the 31st. No, that's wrong. That's spoopy camping. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be the 24th at seven or eight. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks for tuning in. Great. See you then. Bye. Yep. <laughs> uh...